I also didn't say that. But <laughs> where we last ah. left off. Let's see. It was Jacob and Marcus? Yep. That was roaming through the residential district in sector three currently in the Kalindi district while William was laid back in the worn down empty hotel or not hotel apartment complex sitting there seemingly minding his business as he began to doze off playing all my trust in the motion sensor <laughs> as he's surprised as he feels the metal of a gun pressed against his temple. As a hushed voice, feminine in sound, speaks out to him. Don't move a missile. Love you better have a really good reason for doing that. I hope you have a good reason for being here. If only they came in where the flare was. <laughs> well, flashbang. So, so, what is your character's state of mind right now? What is he doing or thinking? Um, well, I'm frozen. I a gun to my head and just thinking, like, if I maybe headbutt the gun, I could move away, pull my gun, shoot from the shoulder or something. He's so, like trying to plan his way out. Alright, so give me Let's do Do a perception. Um visual based? No, it's you're perceiving how you can do stuff. Yeah. If you have tactics it would be better than that. So I've got it. eagle eyes, so I'll get like a plus ten on all. Yeah, that wouldn't help. Visual perception. If you have a military tactics, it would help if you do, but I don't think yep. you do. Yeah, I got thirty. So all right. Two so, plus. as you're sitting there with this gun to your head, you quickly go over like, let's say, one different. <laughs> idea of how you could tr possibly get out of this. You come up with a bumping your head into the gun and possibly retaking aggressive stance and taking that position from this point as your shadow shadowing of the situation goes off as you uh, explain what you do in your head as you think you can get out of this. So in my head the exact plan is bash my head into the gun, get so it's not aimed at me anymore move like get to my feet pull my gun drop my, and maybe shoot from the shoulder depending on like how much she panics but as, so I've got side yeah. arms so. and then it goes off just like that in your head as you bash the your head against the gun you feel slight pain switch around and it's almost like you're in as the viewer is saying this it looks like it's him playing it out in his head completely as it is and just as he reaches to pull his gun he gets popped in the chest and then popped in the neck and then popped in the forehead as he just flies his head back and then drops onto the ground okay so that's not a good plan so no matter speaking you're fucked <laughs> I guess they stay still and hope for the best plans <laughs> it's the best one I can have right now as the gun is stayed firmly to your head, Ooh. she reaches across and fails at something. Finds your rifle. You, it's your Got main arm, and um, basically she finds your weapons beside your sidearm. I don't have any. Just got a pistol. Oh, that's right. Your bag isn't... Oh, yeah. But did you bring that... Or who had the bag of guns? Uh, I, I had a bag with a gun in it. The bag with your gun in it? Yeah, yeah I assume Jacob took, um, took that in his little rig. I, I took the gun with me. Okay. Yeah. 
So actually, she. So would... basically, that's all that's in there is probably, I guess, just a couple of hand grenades and. Yeah. So yeah, she looks for your guns and sees if you have any weapon, but unfortunately, she does not. Or would you have had your sidearm so she couldn't find it? Yeah, probably just like strapped to my right leg. In a place where you can use it to get into prison. So then you feel right. the metal of the gun move from your temple down to the back of your neck as you can hear her positioning to be directly behind you. And as she positions her way like this and you can feel that she has like a lateral angle on you you start hear seeing and hearing your motion detector beep off oh, so now it bloody works come stand yeah, and do your head yep I say love look at the armor I'm a medic I'm here to help whatever trouble you're in I can help you Turn around. I turn. Face her. As you do, you turn to face, looking her directly in the chest as you blink for a moment and realize that your head has to bend up to look her in the face. Shit, you're tall. She's standing close to around 6'5 and wearing black looking armor with a visor of orange. As she looks to have a military UNSC issued sidearm pointed directly oh, at Oh, thank God. <laughs> I've got to put my hands down now. It's Tex. I did not tell you to put your hand down as you. No, I, I don't. I'll say, like, <laughs> I ask. Oh. And why would you think that uh, you can put your hands down? I kind of like nod down towards my armor, obviously, UNSC. I kind of think we're both battling for the same team. As far as I see, you're in a enemy territory. This is a stakeout. Approved by who? There shouldn't even be any UNSC personnel on this sector. Uh, didn't you hear? There was a raid here earlier. We found a weapon stash. Obvious, like obvious insurgent activity. Give me a. This gonna be great. Fellowship. Yay, my lowest stat. Yay, a fellowship of the. I room. can give you. A, oh, no, you don't. Oh no, it. fuck it now. Give her a winning smile, quick wink. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Take it to the back room. So you hear silence from her end, which. Give me an intelligence. Sure thing. You're on a roll. <laughs> as soon as I fire a gun, that's going to explode in my hands, but so far, this is going well. Oh, and everybody, don't forget to, under the chat menu, where it says as, change that to your character. Okay. But she has her gun pointed at you. And as you're looking at her and she's standing silent, you can assume that she probably has other people that she's talking to currently through head comms. But since she's wearing a full helmet and you couldn't see her face, you pretty much assume that she's just talking to somebody under comm. But her gun is still trained straight on you. Have I seen like her type of armor before? Is she like no. an ADSD or something? No, you have not seen this type of armor before. But you did notice that her gun is UNSC. Um, standard. Hmm. Kind of wish I had mine, but so you know, still, still the like, hands on my head. Like, um, so can I lower my arms now? Maybe get back to doing what I was doing. Name and rank. Uh, William West, private for um, first class. And she has her gun trained on you still, as she's still not moving. 
and after about 15 seconds with a quick fluid motion you see her move her gun to the side as it sticks to her leg plate on her arm or on her armor as she gets into her relaxed stance all right stand down william thank you um thank you ma'am sir what's your rank I mean, shall I salute? Um, you can just pretend that you never met me here. You said that there was a raid earlier, correct? Um, yeah, I'll show you to the statue if you like. And um, we did trap it. But insurgent Approximately how long ago was that? Four or five hours? We were originally here to investigate the murder upstairs. Um, myself and another Marine have been assigned to the um, New and Boston Police to aid in their investigation. Is it another UNSC? Um, yeah, I think he's found someone. Don't rest like him and our, I guess, liaison are investigating. Understood. Let it be known that this area is still considered hostile territory and we're expecting more insurgents to be returning within the hour. I'm here to help if you need it. What you can help me with is she tells you to switch your passive service tag to ping off as ally. Yep, I do it. Apparently they've got a hold of UNSC arms and armor and been parading as such. Yeah, they used one. They used a UNSC frag on me earlier. I kind of like gestures like the massive dents in my armor. Make sure that you confirm everybody's name with their military ranks under any roster that you can think of. Will do. As she says this, she turns around and starts to walk towards the balcony. Right. As she, I'll, you can see that the balcony. The that huh? I was gonna say I'll go like check what room number it is that we stashed the um, flashbang in. Nine. Yeah, I'll, I'll like call out. Um, it's a flashbang in room nine, so careful entering there. Understood. And as you see her move out towards the balcony, you notice the door was already open where it was closed. And you start to think to yourselves, like, well, she got in here without you figuring it out with opening the door and coming up to putting a gun to your head. Yep, made me look, look like an idiot. Which is great. And then with the fluid motion, she picks up her leg as she stands on the railing, pulls herself up off the railing, and then just drops down. And then as she's right, dropping good. down, you see her just shoot back up like a bungee cord pulled her back up. I was like, stick my head up. They're all stairs. And as you see, she gets like bungeed back to the top of the roof. Hmm. All right. Um, I guess I'm just go back to the room I was in to stay high alert. Because I'm going to get shot at in about an hour. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, uh, I'll read you to Marcus and um, Jacob. So, moving to Marcus and Jacob. Over your comms, you just hear the sound of loud static. So, is that jamming or just yeah. out of range? You could probably assume it to be jamming. Okay. So we know someone's jamming. Um... At least oh, you lovely. could see. I you hear no this. Radio. You hear this over your UNSC channel. Your UNSC secure oh. channel. And we know it's William who's being jammed, or is it us who's being jammed? You know someone's trying to contact you, and it's coming off in static over your UNSC channel. 
All right, so that's probably really important, but we're also running out of time to catch this guy who just... How big's the, um, the housing enclave thing he ran into again? Oh, this is a area for, like, full living conditions. It's quite large. Like, like how many people? About a thousand to fifteen hundred heads. Oh, it's like well, an arcology type thing? Yeah. Because this is the only um, residential area in the entire city. So, you know, it's a needle in a haystack. Yeah. Well, we could turn our, um, so, uh, so, let's see. William had already gone, or uh, Jacob had already gone around to the back door, right? Yes. Back here, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, um, I'll try and get Jacob on the radio and say, you hear, yeah, you hear that static? And as he does this, Jacob, you hear... Yeah. Marcus trying to get a hold of you and it sounds like he's stupid. Yeah, it's coming out gargled, but you can understand him. It's not as bad as the first one that was trying to get in contact with you. I guess you probably would assume it was him trying to get in contact with you before. Yeah. I'd be sitting there cursing the shitty UNSC radios. You know, whenever a situation arises, the radio is always the first thing to break. So currently, okay. you're walking in between these housing districts. It's quite clean in here. It looks like um, it'd be some place that you would be comfortable with your kids going out to play without you having to supervise them in. There's so three story. Like a well-off area. Yeah. It's very cookie-cutter. There's three-story buildings next to each other. Not much in yard potential, obviously. And... Okay. It just leads to different housing districts where... Oh, housing areas where people are living their lives as they will. It doesn't seem like anyone's panicking or anything. As you're walking around, Jacob, people take notice to you, obviously, since... You know, look more. You look different from a police officer. So I think well, he's yeah. wearing his armor. Right? Yeah, I'm wearing Which my. It's a little bit alarming. Yeah. So it's a little disheartening, but it doesn't seem like anyone's truly panicking. They're just keeping an eye on you. Um, oh, great a bug hunt. <laughs> Is there like a, a doorman or a front uh, front desk person at this arcology? Yes, actually, as you go around looking, figuring that this could be a little bit of a futile mission, you notice that there is a guy that's sitting near the front that's been recording people coming in, in people talking to him, whatnot. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to go up to him and um, say, excuse me, um, does a person who looks like this uh, live here? And I'm going to show him like a, the best camera footage of the guy's face. Officer? Oh, let me see. Um, hmm. No, can't say that. Did, did you see him when he entered the building 15 minutes ago? No, no one like this came towards me with any questions or no, anything like that. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. We did it's, see footage of him coming in the going in the front door, right on uh, on the director. No, it looked like it came through the back. Oh, okay, you came in the back. Okay. Um, if I wanted to, so I'm going to ask him: Is there uh, any way to know who's in? You know any uh, internal security cameras or anything? Uh, there's some on some of the main streets, but nothing towards people's houses, of course. Okay. Uh, 
Is he leans in? He's like, is this a uh, is something going down? Um, this particular person is of um, considerable interest uh, to the new Mombasa Police Department. I'm being way too calm for someone who's just like throwing a grenade at me. I should probably be like screaming at him, but whatever. <laughs> Where are all the drugs, Falcone? <laughs> Alright, so as you're going through this and pretty much doing PR, Jacob, you want to give me some rolls while you're looking around? Uh, sure. Okay, so okay. that would be my perception. How many rolls shall I do? I'm just looking for one. Alright, 15. Right. And where's my roller? 97, okay. And so as you're coming through here, you immediately see one guy with a green hat bent over next to a bush. Okay. Then across the street, you see another guy in a green hat like move behind a corner of the house. And then you see another one, like a guy in a green hat in a window in one of the houses. And then finally, you Shoot see another over. one that is like running down the street. Okay, so I have four to choose from, eh? Yes. Do I get... The uh, guy in the pictures had a beard, right? Can I notice if any of them have a beard? Or facial hair? The one in the window you could not see, nor could you see the one with the bush. You could tell the one that was just running looked like he had a beard. And before the one cut behind the corner of the house, you could tell that he had a beard, too. So... That narrows it down to two, I guess. Mm. Why are green hats so popular? <laughs> God damn it, Lick with sports events. Uh, fucking so the guy was wearing. He was wearing a black coat, right? Uh, is any of them wearing a black coat? The one that turned the corner. And the oh, one behind the up. bush. Okay, so I've got. I guess since the one around the corner is the one I can closest like match, I would go after him. So yeah, okay. I'd, I'd chase after the guy that went around the corner. Right, so you pass by some kids that are playing hopscotch. Uh, ha ha how do you PR when this kind of a public eye? Well, you know, I, I, I'm I'm a bit focused on the mission, you know. You know, I, I do my best to avoid, like, you know, bowling everybody over. So I'm, I'm sort of, you know, on target, focused. I'm not, I'm not the most PR friendly person, as we all know. <laughs> <laughs> so they kind of stop and look at you as you walk by, and it's like, whoa. He's a part of the UNSC. Cool. My dad said that they're awesome. As you're passing by them. And... Uh, this is not begging children. <laughs> William, it's been about five minutes with no respond. What were you trying to say, Overcom? I was just going to like, inform them what's happened. I've received reinforcements at the apartment building, or the tenement. And there's um, a supposed attack that's going to be going on within the next hour. And then you just hear dead silence. Actually, you do yeah. hear a click going on back when Joe was trying to contact um, or not Joe, Marcus was trying to contact um, Jacob, and you can hear you couldn't hear anything that he said. You just hear static. Well, it's time for some Morse code then with clicks. Because fortunately, I'm up. To, I'm able. I can do it. I have the, I have the aptitude. So I'm going to like click over to him. Um, 
do like do you copy? All right, give me an intelligence check, you guys. Uh, All right. It doesn't work. It'll just be it'll just be really irritating. Fucking clicking radio. <laughs> Get a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you both succeed. Okay. Oh, don't forget to change your as as your characters. There's a drop oh, yeah. menu. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's there still my go. character name. And so does Jacob's. And so does William yeah. and so. yeah, But it'll also use your character icon. Like yes. The thing. So, no difference. It'd be using this icon. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so as you do that, you guys hear clicking over your radio that at first you think it's just noise from someone trying to contact you and you realize it's Morse code. Uh, what do you say in your Morse? Um, radio is unresponsive. Do you read? Just like over and over again. Alright, so you hear radio is unresponsive. Do you read? Um, I will try to, uh, let's see, how, how would I respond? I would reply in Morse code, fuck off. <laughs> hey, you're in pursuit right now. <laughs> I know. All right, uh, so. Multitasking, man. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much getting this right as he gets to the corner as he's saying, fuck off. And how about you, Marcus? What do you say, Ben? Yeah. Um, I'll I'll try to respond back in Morse code. Um, uh, uh, received. Uh, what is your status? Um, I'm like first I message back fuck you, and then um, reinforcements arrived. Possible impossible hostile engagement approaching. All business. You get you get back like uh, in downtown Mombasa. <laughs> Just big reinforcements. And as you turn the corner, you see, or as you guys are having this conversation, like simultaneously, how are you um, getting to this corner? I. Probably be, I would I would start it off as a fast walk, but probably now be in a run. All right. So as you get here, you see the guy in the jacket and hat pushing up a manhole. As you turn the corner, as you see him down the alley, which is about thirty to forty or so feet away from you right now. Is there anybody else in the alleyway? No, there's no one else in the alleyway. There's a garbage can, and it's a narrow alley alleyway that gives about like five feet worth of leeway. So, how far is he from? Um, like, how far? Like, uncovering the manhole is he? Oh, like, it's up. It, uh, okay. Um. So, I guess I would raise my weapon, and I would tell him to stop. You know. Stop what he's yeah. doing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. By order of the UNSC. Yeah, get in carrier. Tell him. Oh god, I, I have to put on my macho voice for this. Stop in the name of the fucking US UNSC, mate. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Australia, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Seems got like a grenade. <laughs> Seems that like would be, that would be a serious threat if he's about to go down a manhole like. <laughs> Seems like they taught you uh, jarheads how to chase better than I thought. I knew it was fucking you. <laughs> you're on the fucking ground. You honestly think anything you do matters? It's too late. Talkie's not going to solve anything, uh, so I guess I would fire a warning shot. <laughs> so you know, as like, you... At, at his feet. 
<laughs> so as you get the ending of um, William's last response, give me a perception hearing plus 20. All right. Uh... And how you do that is go to your perception, and where under it says none, just change that to proficient. And then press roll. Do I do this too? Or no. Just no. This is okay. cool. for him to hear you. Wow, apparently you don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Focusing on the Morse code. I mean, you could use one of your fate points to re-roll it if you want, but you only have two to do that for today. Yeah. Hmm. Do you want to risk it for a biscuit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll use one. I'll use a fate point. It seems kind of important. Um, Alright, change your current to one. All right. So you hear the familiar staccato sound of a. What handgun are you using? I actually had my assault rifle on me as well, so I was using that. <laughs> oh, I thought you had that in your bag. No, no, I took the assault rifle with me. I didn't know you actually had that um, brandish. You would have been causing a ruckus then. Yeah, it's probably like fire. a crowd at the end of the alleyway. No, people would have been going into their houses and closing the door, taking their children in. Like someone walking down the street with yes. an assault rifle, that that's not a good look. As soon as I hear assault rifle, serious fire, time. I'm just like bye. All right, so <laughs> no, you wouldn't even have needed. To find out what that is. <laughs> you can get your fate point or your um fortune point back. You wouldn't need to re-roll. You would have heard that. Uh, okay. But yeah, you would hear the staccato sound of a uh, MA5 going off in the I am not even say anything. Yeah. I'm, I'm just running for the sound. That's a pretty unambiguous sound. <laughs> Alright, and Jacob, give me your uh... ballistic roll? Yes. And you're aiming, so I think aim's a plus 5 or 10. Okay. So, fucking how do I do that? So, do I just put like a 5 into the modifier? Or it's a 10? Oh, I did, okay, put, I did, I did not put aim in here. But uh, what you would do is you go to your ballistics, and it would be under ballistics where it says none. You can modify that there. Okay. Uh, let's say it's 5. Because I don't actually have that on the shortcut currently. If somebody, uh, there we go. Ellis, if you could do me a favor, could you look that up so I know in the future? Doing it right now. Thank you. All right, so 33. Yeah, you aim next to him as you shoot towards the ground as it breaks off the pavement and hits into the ground doesn't ricochet or anything like that luckily but you could see that he was about to inch into the manhole and as you fired you just see him like freeze take Mr. one step what? and the next one's going between your eyes <laughs> even though his back is turned to you <laughs> uh, okay well no, it, it's canon you still say I mean, between your eyes <laughs> free to back of the head Oh. <laughs> All right, well, so, he wouldn't have head anyway after an MA5 hits him. So yeah, he just has his hand on the manhole as it's up and stopped, and he's frozen. <laughs> Do you honestly think this matters? You can take me and you can shoot me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you guys aren't going to stop Nuevo. Well, yo... I'll advance down the street, you know, got named at him. And as you do, you hear the sound of 
like water rushing where you can assume to be from the manhole. So the manhole's quite uh, running today, eh? <laughs> Let's see, aiming half action grants a half of the weapon scope or iron sights accuracy modifier to the next attack. Aiming a full action grants blah 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 scope blah blah blah. All right. Thank you. Yours. But yeah, you advance on him. He doesn't move. Uh, Joe, give me an agility to see how long it's going to take you to get there. All right. Actually, let me check something. I might have athletics trained. But that would just be... That trained, would help. So that doesn't... But yeah, if it's All just right. trained, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, so... Oh. All right, so All right, that's, two degrees. Yeah, you would get there in a round, actually. Okay. So you move up on him. You have your gun leveled at him right now, and it doesn't seem to be moving. Okay. okay. Hmm. Well. So I'm. What you gonna do, Jawhead? Direction, so I probably see his face. Well, I, uh, you know, as, as I get up to him, I put uh, the barrel of my gun against the back of his head. <sighs> he sucks in after feeling the heat from the barrel. And this is where you would come across a corner, Marcus. As you okay. see uh, Jacob with his assault rifle out and leveled on the figure that... You see he has a large beard and a green hat and wearing the black that you assume, but he has his head tilted down so you can't see him exactly. And is he still standing in the manhole or Yeah, he has a manhole like tilted up in front of him that you see he's holding up. Oh. Okay. Um Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna also say uh I'm gonna hold up a uh a flashbang grenade and say if you try to try to drop down there and and this is gonna follow you, because he may or may not know it's a flashbang, and he, if he does, it's still probably not fun to be. Confined space for flashbang will be quite painful. All right, give me a um, perception, good old Jacob. Uh, this is visual. Fucked up. <laughs> All right, so Jacob, you tilt your head up as you see uh, Marcus coming down, saying that to him, and like within the moment that he does this, the guy quickly lashes out. So he tries to engage me in the melee. With one miss, and the second hits. Okay. Is it initiative time? It is, but he did this directly at your gun. I need a strength tech to see if you lost your gun. Alright, so that would be a fail. If this goes through, he would have disarmed you. I think you can burn a fate point as well to get a plus 10 on any roll. Just oh, as a heads yeah. up. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Do you want to? Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright, so your current is now at two. Or no, that was for Jacob. One. Yeah. So my current is All right, one. So he almost hits your gun, but you pop it back and have it back leveled on him. Alright, now it's initiative. Well, okay. What is initiative again in this game? Is there a button for it? Let me check your sheet. <sighs> Checking the rule book right now. So far, I can't see the initiative. Uh, initiative is based off agility. I know it that much. I just was wondering if they had a pre-made button for it, but it doesn't look uh, like it. No, they don't. 
It's basically what? It's based off agility. Okay. 1d10 plus the agility bonus. Oh, it's Would 1D my dodge 10 plus skill come into play as well? Or such a, you know, as well. Say again? Uh, what did my dodge skill come into play when he tried to attack my gun? Yeah, you could have rolled a, your dodge to see if he can go against this hit. Yeah. That's just what you roll for agility. Not agility, initiative. Alright, so 1d10 plus your agility bonus. Oh god. Uh, fucking... I gotta remember how to do this now. Fucking guys, is that too long? Hmm. How the fuck do I roll for this again? Brain is drawing a blank. You go to the dice roller, and under advanced roll, change it to a d10 plus your agility bonus. Or type what I just put in. Yeah. Without the dot. I assume it's plus 12 for you. Yeah, we got it. Alright, so... Oops. Close these down. So, you guys would be going first. Marcus, okay. you would be at the top. Then Jacob. So, how, how far away am I from the uh, guy? About 20 feet. Okay, so then I need to move up before I can um, actually act, react. So. Yeah. Yeah. So let me. I'm, I'm looking at the movement rules right, or trying to find the rules for how fast I can move right now. You can charge, as well. It's equal to your agility for the amount of um, squares you can do, which is in meters in this. So you should be able to get there easily. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, is there you know, a charge attack rule probably somewhere? Yeah, it's in the actions. Yeah, we got, we got to get you know Marcus into the melee. <laughs> like, yep, that's just get plus ten on your warfare melee for it. All right. Um, all right. Full action. All right. Um. That's interesting. On the handy table it says charge gives plus 10 to warfare melee, but then in the description it says it gives plus 5 uh, damage. Or base yeah, damage nice. increased by half the charge movement. So you add 10 to the actual roll, and then yeah, plus 5 10 to hit. damage. Okay, and so then... I get both. Now that, okay. Yeah. All right, so I guess I will do a yeah, uh, quick draw that stun baton and do a and do a charge attack with it. Um, All right, go ahead. So I get plus ten. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I get for any other random bonus I could get, but probably not. Uh, all right, so that's four or five degrees of success, and then with um, advanced hand to hand, if I hit with my first attack, I get to roll a second. All right, so you nail him. That's for sure. So do you want to roll the second or, or the right. damage for the first? Right. Actually, I was going to roll the dodge to see if you can get out of it. Give me one sec. Okay. Ooh. And can he do it?
Yes, he can. <laughs> As he that quickly uh, uses the time that he did to throw off Jacob to use the momentum to dodge under your thrust as you charge towards him. Okay. All right, Jacob. Okay. So, how close am I to him? You say, would I be in the point blank range or just yes. outside that? Don't you, miss. Okay. No. Uh, okay. So, I guess. Uh, yeah, you're actually. Yeah, the way that it has it standed is you guys are standing. He's in between the two of you. Yeah, this is why I'm a little bit worried about this whole uh, circular firing squad thing. Let's see. Do it. Do it. You won't. Don't fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should I? Should I risk it for a biscuit? Culture eye. No, always. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking YOLO. I'm gonna sh uh, Let's see. So this is how Marcus dies. <laughs> let's see, what can my MA5 do? Can it... Let's fucking bring up the fucking rules for it, anyway. I want to see what kind of fire modes I have for it. <laughs> this is really how he dies. <laughs> fire well, well I, 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 that's what I was going to do, yeah. Fire a barrel. Forget it, just hit the underbarrel flamethrower. I don't have that. <laughs> It's got Jim's slung um, grenade launcher instead. Yeah. yeah, yeah, go for that. Well, well, he's at point blank, so I'm I, I, slung I, grenade I, I launcher. Don't... Yeah, no, thank you. I, I, I choose life for myself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, I guess I will do a burst fire. So what do I need to roll for this? You just roll your hit once, and if you miss, you miss all of them. Oh, so oh, ballistic. Right. First fire was really bad for some reason, but like relative to doing fuck it, water, YOLO! Oh, that's a hit. Can he be evasive? He's dodging bullets at point blank. Is he fucking Neo? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Beatrix on us. Let's see. This is the second time doing it, so it would Primitive be... Primitive fire the burst directly into the back of his head. So if he dodges, his head needs to open up. Just let <laughs> the bullets go through. Oh, like, well, remember, like... everything isn't just active, it's all... Retroactive? No. Nothing is actually for certain. When he's dodging, he's just moving in a way that it would throw yeah. off his aim type of a... Uh thing, not so much as him just neoing it. Because <laughs> that would be insane. Just holds his hand out? No. <laughs> Bullets mm. fall to the ground. And this one is at a minus 10, because he's already dodged this round. Ah, good. So is it po I can't put the modifier in, that's right. Is it, say, was, will it even be possible for him to do that? I thought he would need to beat the ballistics check. Or am I wrong? Uh, Wait, with the dodge roll, with the dodge rolls, you can dodge any attack that's coming at you. But if you dodge more than once during that round, you start getting uh, cumulative negatives. Oh, okay. Which sucks against a burst fire because eventually you're not going to be able to dodge that. <laughs> or not okay. burst fire, um, fully auto. <laughs> All right. So, with that attack. Did it actually calculate? Yeah, it did. Good. So as you try to level your gun and move towards him, or move down to shoot him, he's just moving ridiculously too much for you to just aim your weapon as you just set off a burst as it does or does not hit its mark. It shoots straight in between Marcus's legs. <laughs> I always hit him in the dick. <laughs> yeah, they get cyber limbs. Well, that, well, that's if Marcus had one to begin with. All right, so he 
Wait, what'd you just say? <laughs> yeah, what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> Back up a second. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said almost hit him in the dick if he had one to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> That's a I, thing. I'm a nice person deep down. So he would make his attack on your gun, hoping to disarm. Let me remind you who is going after the grenade uh, throwing maniac without any armor on. And without the medic. Yep. All right. So that is a success. Do you try to dodge it? Uh, yeah, sure. So, time to click on the dodge button, I guess. Yes. Dodge skill button. And I fail miserably. Alright, so Jen, do your strength to hold on to your gun. I fail miserably. So, with a swift strike, he knocks your gun out of your hand as it just flies. Roll a d20. Okay, roll. Alright, about 10 feet behind you. Okay. And with the rest of his action, he collapses his arms over his chest as he drops into the manhole. As you guys hear a loud splash. Mm. Yeah, you gonna, you gonna try and throw the grenade down there? Mm. Marcus. I'm just having another, okay. Um. Imagine the concussive force that Flashbang would have in the water. Yeah, I'm also wondering what would happen if if I um, what like an electric uh, first electric stump baton into water. If I fired my taser gun into the water, probably not much. Not much okay, at all. Yeah. <laughs> No. I mean, okay. a taser doesn't have enough electrical power to fucking affect that. Especially that much of it's covered in water. This is a future right. taser. Yeah, but it's uh, moving current, and it's also... It depends yeah. on the solution in the water, because that also yeah. affects electricity. Yeah, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... If I, I'm assuming if I drop the... Um, uh flashbang down the manhole that we're not going to take penalties when it goes off? Nope. It's all just dependent on if it's fast enough to catch up with him or the current. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to drop the uh, drop the flashbang down the manhole and If only he didn't dodge my burst, he would have died. Cause that would. Cause how fat, What would it? What would it take to actually go after him? That would be like a, another half move or something. Yeah, you could drop down there with him, and it'd be your. That would be another half. That'd be my what? It would be a half. It would be your move. Mm. Tempting as the grenade is, I think I'm just going to drop down and then I will attack. Um. Alright, so as you drop down into the water, the current <laughs> is actually really strong. I need you to... Okay. I do have my helmet on at least, because I brought that along for the... Does your helmet have a mouth guard? Or is it a full helmet? It's yeah, a CBRN uh, helmet, if I recall. Yeah, it says a CBRN attachment. All so, right. so yes. yeah, that would provide the uh, protection, I guess. All right, so that is all You're, good. Won't be breathing in that shit water today, bro. So what I do need you to make, though, is your...
Oh, they don't have a swim check. That'd be like fucking agility or something. Or athletics, like... yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah athletics. Good. All Good right. spot on. Is athletics, strength, strength, or agility? Athletics um... is strength. Oh. My list, it says agility. Or toughness. Uh, I'll just roll, roll strength. Uh, wow. All right. Yeah, uh, you're I able to keep your buoyancy correct and you don't sink too much as the current's moving you along. And then ahead of you, you can see a shadow moving that it's not quite within your melee range from just jumping down here and moving with the current. Mind you, this current's moving around like 20 miles per hour. Oh, wow. that's really, really fast. That's some um, fast flow. Like, oh, damn. Yeah, everyone's just flushed right See, now. If I can get next to him for a full action, I can hit him with, with uh, five melee attacks. But until then... Um... Are you going to use your other... Because you could definitely use your other half action to swim after him. You can definitely catch up with him. Like, he's just out of your range with that one movement currently. Okay. Um, yeah. I will keep chasing after him. Alright, so as you drop in here, keep up your buoyancy, and you see Shadow moving down there, you just go into full swimmer stance and just start swimming after him. And with no time at all, you can actually... Do you move past him, move next to him? Because um, you're overtaking him by two, which is four meters. Sure, I'll yeah, I'll move, I'll move past him, so I'm in front of him. All right. So Jacob, hey, what a combat! <laughs> you see Marcus wait, wait, without a me. word just jump in there, leaving you up here by yourself with your gun behind you. Well, you know, first things first, I gotta collect my weapon. Alright, so you go move to get your gun. <laughs> <laughs> the other half it always happens with the, like... I, I, I'm not leaving my assault rifle up on the surface where I some know. kids could come along and pick but, but, it up and dick around with that's, it. That's it's true, that's better. very true. The guy with no armor going after. <laughs> Alright, so your other half action? Mm. Well, I, I, I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to risk, you know, drowning. <laughs> uh, would there be, you know, another manhole in the, well, what direction no. is the water flowing? It, as you're in the alley, if you're looking straight out from the alley, the water is flowing to your west. And the I guess, straight from the alley would be north. I guess I could fucking... I guess try and follow the way the water would flow. And try and catch up on the surface somewhere. Alright, give me your intelligence check. There we go. Intelligence. Click. Submit. Yeah, you totally Fails. think you can do it. <laughs> yeah, you can run yeah. after them. <laughs> <laughs> Runs the opposite direction. <laughs> No, no, you, you just feel like, yeah, you think you can keep up with the current. Like, they can't be moving that fast. Water didn't look like I was moving that fast to you. It could have been like, so what? So definitely on the second floor of the building next to you. <laughs> It'd be fine. Yeah, the water... Do some parkour. <laughs> the water, water looks like it's moving, like, five, five miles per hour. It's tops. So you could totally catch them. Yep, so, you know, start running off, you know. Huffing and puffing. <laughs> So we can just write off Jacob <laughs> and this much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm not gonna fucking, you know, well, no, I'm, wear, I'm still wearing my full combat uniform. That would be fucking heavy in the water. Alright, so Marcus, as you overtake this man and you're swimming in front of him now, he looks at you. And as you're this close, you can actually see his features more. As he, you see him tilt his head, his hat just starts to float down the current without him. As you can see his face now, as he's just looking at you with just piercing like blue eyes. 
as his beard just curls to his grin and you can see the scar that comes from the top of his head down to his cheek as he pulls his hand out of the water as he's holding on to some type of it looks like a gun as he's pointing it at you but instead of pointing it at you he then points it straight towards the roof as it shoots into the he shoots it and you just hear a loud release but it doesn't sound like a gunshot as it's a he, grapple fucking hook he stops moving in the water as you okay. continue to move down the current as you he okay. just disappears in sight I said wow well. GG time to power swim back up to that fucker and break his legs yeah no I mean I thought it was moving like to to melee range to be right next to him uh, strength to, or you know right in front of him so can I take a reaction or something to that uh, I don't think there's a reaction to switching weapons in this uh, it might be under because I do have the advanced combatives um, do you have any actions that you can do to somebody equipping a gun or a weapon because it wouldn't be an attack of opportunity, naturally. Because yeah. um, that would be the only thing you could do in combat on their turn, unless you had held actions, which you couldn't have, since you used both of your actions to swim. Well, him switching his weapon and then firing it would take up like his full round action. So, yes. like by the like start of Marcus's action, he should still be right next to it. I think. I guess. I, I don't know. Maybe the current's fucking with that, but... Yeah, it, the current moves you guys every round. Alright. Okay. Um, and since he's at the end he, of the round, it would move you at the start of yours. Could he swim yes. charge? <laughs> a swimming charge. Like a shark. Because at the start and of your turn, was up the fucking water. <laughs> yeah, at the start of your turn, Marcus, you'd be pushed twenty-five feet from the current. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's Is nothing there reactionary that you could do on his yeah. turn, at least. Yeah, I'm trying to see if we've got a. Huh. Fun fact. I do know what you could do, but I'm just keeping silent for now. Spin's fate point to learn the secret. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do get response actions. Where, where? What page? Um, five. I think you get penalties, but you can't make like an immediate response action. Let's see. Response action is special actions that is made in reaction to an event. That would be like um, hold, held action and stuff like that. It'd All be right. something that would be stored, or it would be something off an ability that wouldn't let him do it. What kind of role would it be to just... Uh, like, how, how, how deep is the water? How tall are you? Um, I rolled that. Um, I think, like, five... Nine. Alright, you're five nine, 1. you Yeah, you don't feel the bottom. Like nothing oh, scraping okay. at your feet. That's deeper than I thought. That is deeper than I thought. Um I thought I thought we were waiting. That that is different. Oh no, this is a full current, like you guys were submerged. That changes things. Um uh, I do not have a grapple gun. I've got handcuffs. Uh, <laughs> is there any like what? Are the, what do the walls look like? Handcuffs. Activate. <laughs> Could you just swim up to him and handcuff yourself to his ankle? 
Yeah, it's smooth, um, I'm not going to say concrete, whatever stone you would use in future tech to have for Last sewer. steel alloy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. Bricks. I'm not too sure it would be bricks in this, but whatever they would use for a sewer system, I'm not Super too... Super concrete. I'm not too learned on what you do for waterways, so Neo. I can't say. Neo-concrete. Neo-cement. <laughs> but yeah, they're um, smooth sur surfaces. The bones of the covenant okay. are what make the sewers. Yeah, so I'm guessing that swimming upstream to him is like basically impossible, or yeah. No, it's possible. You're just being moved 25. You can try to do your athletics to fight against it. Okay. Or I, I mean, if you can moving swim up to attack like him, 20 miles <laughs> per hour of water. You must be god yeah. tier at swimming. Yeah. No, like no actual human being could swim against 20 mile per hour current. <laughs> Um, I bet Michael Phelps could. It's <laughs> kind of, it's kind of yeah. like Gulf Stream levels of speed water. Okay, I mean, yeah, you, know. you wouldn't be moving at your fastest, but you'd be able to, if you're lucky enough, be able to try to fight against it just with sheer will alone. Again, you know, um, suddenly Marcus gets is there, yeah. so Is there any way that I can just find something to... Like, I just want to sort of stop and... and, and Wait him out almost. Um, Alright, give me a perception. There... I'll give you a passive okay. perception. Okay. Uh, you know, all we just see is fucking, you know, from Marcus's legs, like fucking propellers come out. <laughs> no, so, don't make yeah. the perception. Go, go, go. Um, yeah, like, go, go. Gadget boat. Just lower body turns into a boat and it's good paddling up. Go, go, gadget boat. Go go gadget pelican. I mean, I could try and <laughs> I could try and take a pot shot at him with a shotgun, but my chance of hitting is incredibly small. Although it is a tunnel, so any ricochet would kind of have to hit him. But that would also be loud as shit and disorientating. Yeah. Um, why not? I Just quick draw. Um. Well, okay, what what's the role? So it's just a straight athletics check to fight the current and yes. try and go back up to him? Okay. Uh, Strength-based? Yes. Uh, half action? Correct. Alright, well, I'll try that. Bye-bye! Nope. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> you can get that plus 10 yeah. look from a luck dice thing. Fate, um, fate roll. Um, sure, I'll fate, I'll fate re-roll, because I still got that point. Oh, uh, you get yeah, some you, plus you can take a straight, yeah. Or straight, I can just take a, uh, okay, so I'll fate plus 10 to make it. 42. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, would make 31. it. Or, uh, so yeah, as you are, are fighting this current, and, uh, it's tough, but you're able to like resistant and move back 10 feet so he's within 15 feet of you now okay um actually that doesn't make things much better because that's still not melee range and I don't have a grapple gun you got um, a taser yeah but would that even I reach in... the, but now that you're 15 you can see him like he has the yeah. grapple hook like shot into the wall and he's just stopped and like is being waiting he's waiting in the water as he's holding onto the hook right now it looks like he's trying to reel himself in um I don't know the thing he said about like I know what you could do right now makes me think there's just some kind of incredibly clever thing but I'm not seeing it so I guess I will just call shot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, not call it shot. Just, just uh, let me check the rules for a shotgun. Um, probably just gonna quick draw the shotgun and take two, two shots at him. And I, since we're in this like little tunnel, is there's some kind of. I 
I don't know, bonus or something. Not that I know, but I'll have a look. Okay. Yeah, there's no bonus, so it would just be a chance of ricochet. If I just hit him, it's just gonna do damage. It's not actually gonna get him to let go, though. Probably, or right, unless you hit his hand and like somehow create it or something. Missions. Um. You can do it, Marcus. You're the hero that this group needs. Alright, I'm outside of range for the taser, so I'm still just... I guess I'm making two shotgun rolls. Um, I'm using... Uh, what's the rate of fire on it? Pump action, which is... It would mean one shot. Because um, you used one half action already. That's two per... Um, I thought it's two per half action with a pump action. Um, I think you were using your reload action with the pump action, so it'd be a shot reload shot. Well, it's not a single. Um, Let me check. Pump, pump, pump. What shotgun was it? It's. It is the M90 series close assault weapon system. All right, so pump two. Oh, no, you would get two shots. Okay. Just because I'm, if this is like only war, there's special rules for single shots. They're not just normal. There's not just roll it. It's like single shots are just as complicated as any other thing. And this book is hardly laid out, uh, but we all know that. The uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. If anyone knows what the page is for just shooting something, feel free to tell me. Uh, just roll your okay, ballistics. Yeah. Okay. When reloading a pump action weaponry, shells are loaded one by one to a maximum of three per half action. For every two modifier and both agility and warfare range characteristic, the character is able to reload an extra shell. So every two modifier uh, and both two well it's not it, it's got more than two rounds in it so that that's not a big deal yeah uh, I get off two shots at him and both of them miss oh my you are not a gun specialist <laughs> yes yeah, so there's a reason I did not want to use yeah But the percent chance of ricochet, roll me two D one hundreds. Alright. You have a thirty percent chance of it ricocheting into him. One of them hits on the gas. Alright, roll damage. Treat roll location. Uh it's already rolled. The nineteen's ah. a roll for the Ooh. Uh, that is right on. Bicep. Right. I know what mental disorder fucking Jacob would have. Alright. 20 damage. Alright. To the arm. Right up. So he gets nailed into the arm and. Let's go to Grappling Hook. Let's see. Well, he's right handed, probably. Come on, Blank. Be the man that we all need you to be. So I don't have to tell them shit. <laughs> <laughs> at least, like, I was really afraid you were going to say, like, oh, he pulls out a gun and points at his own head and is, like, not telling you. Bye. I've had GMs pull that on me before, like. He plunges into the water. I just need to ride the sewage outlet all the way down to the to the ocean, I guess. If only there was someone behind him to chase him and not... <laughs> yeah. 
He's coming. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm foot I'm to coming, where. Man. <laughs> He's just waiting for the lift. All right. So as he drops into water, like he drops out of visibility for a moment. As you s then notice, he's like moving towards you and just doing a straight shoulder crush straight into you. Hopefully. So this would be a charge. I knew you could water charge. And that misses. Though he can't water charge. Alright, so you guys are moved 25 feet again. Your turn. As he, you see him like swimming toward you and tries to drop his shoulder on you, but you're able to move away at, at the last second. So we're now both in in melee range of each other. Yes. All right. So now I get to full attack. Oh, um, so that's five melee attacks. Uh, is the stun baton going to short out if I use it in the water? Let's see. Be pretty useless if a short tail out of water. Could you start grappling or something? Um, we could just close on him like a like a clamp and just use all your limbs and your head just to crush him. And five glorious attacks. Yes, kill me. Do it. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> kill him. Um, That's the problem. Is if I like, even if I knock him out, this is gonna be interest. Like, but I'm, I'm gonna have to like. Well, I guess he'll probably float. Kill him. Do it. All right. Do let's it. Let's find it. out what happened. Well, the first attack is with the stun baton because I've got quick draw, so I can just do whatever. So let's see what happens to a stun baton underwater. Um, do it. Or it's not, I'm not hitting Both him get underwater. Both a very painful shock. All right, I need you to roll me a D100. All right. All right, the stunned baton discharges violently as you strike him into the water. Uh, I need you to roll me 3D10, and you both are taking electricity damage. Right. Um, the rules for the stun baton are toughness test at minus 20 to stay conscious. Alright, so 3d10. Oh, and the base stun baton damage, I forgot that. If you both drowned, uh, I think I'll be disappointed. Yeah, we're probably both gonna drown. Um, it's 1d10 plus strength modifier. Alright, so no, it's nothing. So it just would be 13 damage, but first, toughness. Uh, He's conscious. How about you? Um, that's his toughness at minus 20. He's not conscious. How about you? <laughs> Alright. Um. So I still take the nine, minus 20 penalty even though it's the yeah. indirect through stuff? Okay. Yeah, because it's a straight discharge into your hand and the water around you. And it's not, fun. Right. <laughs> not fun for anyone. So, so we're both <laughs> stunned. Or, hold on. Is this, it's not it's not unconscious it's stunned. There's there's like special rules for electrified. Um, oh, that's even better. Yeah, it's we are both stunned for one d ten minus toughness modifier rounds with an additional round for every degree of failure on the toughness test. So he failed by through one. Well, so I guess we both roll our 1d10s. Right, so, so 1d10 so one. plus 1. Aha! <laughs> You're wearing the helmet, right? Let's pop that out, mate. Breathe the helmet thing. Yeah. So you can breathe Thunder. while unconscious, or while stunned even, but he can't. Or stunned is not unconscious. No. Stunned actually, you're allowed to, like, you're not. It's, it's like your muscles are seizing up. It's yeah, you like cannot. You, you, you're just not confused. However, those 13 damage, let me check my hit point. You're that puts me at zero for wounds, but. 
Yeah, and the yeah, 13 and... Yeah, definitely slow wounds down to zero. Where did you hit me? You hit me in... Where is it? Where is it? 63? Yep. 63 is... Body? Wait. No, the... It was an 8. Oh, yeah. 8. Oh, head. Damn. So that's not armored. That would take the full brunt of your attack, which... So I should add, um, I'll roll the standard damage for the also. Wasn't that your d10 plus 3? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you yeah. did 12 up here. I did already roll that. Okay. Wait, did you an 8? Oh, okay. To hit. I rolled it earlier, so that's 12. Yeah, 12 damage Five. to his head, as well as the electrified stuff. Were you trying to do it non-lethally? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. He gets smacked in the head and... Out of with the electricity, he just seizes up and then his eyes just roll behind his head as he starts to sink into the water just as your muscles are seizing up and you just see him floating off. Okay. Sometime much later. Or not that long. <laughs> so, give or take... on the surface... <laughs> People are freaking out as they see this UNSC Marine just chucking by with his assault rifle leveled towards the ground. Um, William, so fast. <laughs> you made your last um, check-in with them and it's been radio silence for about like two minutes now. They copied. I, I, I assume they were going after like their own target, so... They're probably in the middle of some shit. Alright, so as you're doing such, you start to see a bleep on your motion detector. Start to go off. Do I have the... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say Spartan, but yeah, I didn't know it was fine. Do I, do I have like her comm signal thing? No. Well, that's good. Um, is it like... Is the motion sensor like coming oh, towards the front door? Perfect. Say again? Is a motion sensor coming towards the front door? No, you just see it go off of your, like the edge like, of its range. Like it's starting to move into the motion sensor's range. Like, is it west of me? Off of me? It or looks like it, off it, of it, the it, way that it's held and you're looking at it to be towards where the stairs are. Yeah, I'll move like just around the corner of the stairs. Have my gun at pretty much head height. Just wait out of sight. As you're waiting, you start to see another bleep go off on it. Same direction? Yeah. Yep. And then another. It's a lot of bleeps. I've got a lot of armor. And a lot of bullets. And another. Um. <laughs> oh, you better start hearing spot fire with SC squad. And another. What'd you say again? I'm just like waiting for the Spartan to open fire. And another. Yeah, she's still there. Right. Um, Basically, it keeps going until you get like five bleeps heading up the stairs. And you can actually, as you stay around here, you can hear the echoes of feet moving and people like talking. Um, did they sound like. Did they sound like they're discussing the current situation or it's just like people that know each other change, you know? <laughs> So, what we do about situation? I mean, that's kind of something. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't heard from boss. He just told us to reconvene. Get stuff. Yeah, I retreat into room 7. Nine's the one with the flashbang in him. Yes. Into, yeah, I retreat into room 7. And kind of like leave the door ajar. Yeah, behind the door. Do you think he get caught? <sighs> Even if caught, he give us time. We do what we need. Boss! Boss! Yes! Go open door! We stand outside. O okay. So you hear the fumbling of keys jingling around. 
course it's unlocked. Then you hear just dead silence coming from the hallway. And you see the bleeps like... You see them moving more so like in a circle pattern around where you believe the door would be. But they don't look to be moving. As you see like a couple of them, or two of them in particular, move from the circle pattern and like you try to imagine it as you see in the hallway and it, what you could imagine is them like being flushed up against a wall just moving down the hallway okay I wait and see what happens hoping they go in the room and flash bang themselves so you see the two move again as you hear the sound of a door opening down the hall and slamming against the wall as you see them on your motion tracker move quickly into the room. Can I figure that to be room 9? Off of where you saw in the motion tracker? No, it didn't look like it was Woods room 9. It looked like a room across from 9. Shit. Um, is there like any cover in my room? Like a desk or something? Let's see. In this room, no, it was one of the empty ones. Is there like a closet, like in the back, in the back corner? Yeah, there's a closet. I'll move into that. Just, just you know, leave the bag of equipment smack bag in the middle of the fucking room. I assume I got that <laughs> with me. Oh no, it didn't sound like you did. Did you? Well, fine, I'll grab that and chuck that in the closet with me as I'm leaving. <laughs> Are you trying to be quiet? Um, yeah. All right, roll me your agility. Stealth is a skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah stealth. All right, roll me your stealth with Don't. minus twenty. You're lovely. All right, modifier. Rip. That you you know just epically fail. Oh, you should have plus one. <laughs> um, yeah, I I failed that. I'll re-roll it. Actually, no, no, I'm not. And so you're trying to get all the stuff and move as like something falls out of the bag and just it's a slow moment oh. as you see it falling and you turn and look at it and you just do the oh shit as it hits the ground it's and just echoes and you could hear it echoing through this entire apartment. What it feels it? like it at least. Like what drops? Is it a grenade? Because I can use that. <laughs> Uh, what's in the bag? Basically everything I own, so you'll f have things like fucking water canteens, fucking mess kits, fucking grenades. Alright, so canteen, <laughs> mess kit, and grenade. Canteen, whatever, and grenade. 1d3. Canteen. Oh shit. It's like doom, 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 the whole thing where it just slowly spins as it's just making more noise until it finally just stops. I was look at it, look at the door, just grab the bag, like chuck it in like the closet where I'm gonna be hiding, just not bothered being quiet now, and then just like move back, move into cover, right, aiming right. at the door about head height. Give me your perception, hearing. As yeah, you're okay. doing, yeah, you're doing that, and as the noise finally stops, you can even you can hear this, even though it's through the door and whatnot. Just the sounds of a bunch of shotguns just being pumped. Well, <laughs> don't you wish you could spray and pray for the wall right now? <laughs> And as you look at your motion detector, you can see them all starting to convene on the door, with the exception of two that look to be staying towards room 9. 
So this would be six targets. You're muted. I'm oh, sorry. Um, once they've convened at the door, I'll just call out, um, this is UNSC, we have you surrounded. Put down your weapons and come out peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> do you deceive? Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, brilliant. The I'm bullshit was 10. strong. Yeah, I don't, I don't get an 18. I fail. <laughs> You just hear the sounds of chuckling going off behind the door. Yeah, <laughs> boss, it looks like we have you and SC swine. Good. Last for the door. Uh, <laughs> I was feeling like having a pit roast. Yep, yeah, aiming at the door, just ready. Fire! You're not standing in front of the door, are you? No, I'm in like a cupboard, slightly, I guess, right of the room. Like a big walk The cupboard door's fucking like made of fucking titanium. I mean, I'm I'm in technically a different room. And uh, all right, so there is a five percent chance of being hit with ricochet. Two really close chances. <laughs> yep. So the room just gets littered with shotgun fire like... You have your helmet on so you're not getting deafened by it completely, but la it's going off loud. The yeah. entire room is just being shredded. Oh. You see the canteen in the middle of the room just get popped and then just gets knocked in the air and just get hits multiple times. God. <laughs> No, my water. <laughs> my totally not alcohol. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Water. Yes, it yes, just it gets shredded. Uh, off in the distance, all you hear is the cries of Jacob as he feels the pain of his canteen die. <laughs> Was it really strong stuff? Moonshine strong? Unless uh, it's incendiary rounds. It's not gonna... <laughs> Is yeah, I would, I would say it would probably be moonshine strong. <laughs> okay, probably at least like 80% alcohol. Seriously, you're a higher rank than I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, that's the, proof. the high rank. <laughs> Yay, it catches a flame. <laughs> really? Yeah, I just, just like stay in my position to cover, stay silent. So the room now just looks like it's like a pre-battle scene. There's a fire slowly brewing in the center of the room as there's just <laughs> holes everywhere. As you look around the closet, you can see light brewing in from the closet in like two separate areas where you can see like shotgun pellets like pierce through. As you look to the side, like one is like underneath your shoulder and the next one's like in a hole next to the wall near your head. Yeah. Like, he didn't hit the bag. Wait, wait for that door to open. It. The door doesn't even open. It just breaks down. Like, it was absolutely shat shredded as it falls to the ground. Yeah, as it falls, if I see a target, I shoot. I shoot to kill. Alright, so roll to hit. Cool. Um, cold shot head. And because I, take, I took the aim action, I get uh, my scope bonus. And on my pistol, I think I've got like a times three. One, um, times scope. two. Times two. No, no, I should brought a custom scope. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought you just had the default magnum scope. Just nah. the uh, times two. Well, depending on the type of magnum, really. What have I got? Like, Jacob would be um, the guy that actually, would have no, the I don't have times. I got a times two smart link. Yeah. So I got um I guess that's a plus two and I have the steady aim perk, which gives me plus ten. And clear target, which um reduces my cold shot um cost by half. So I think I'm firing at minus three. Alright, go ahead. So I guess the target's plus three. Um plus three. 
Oh, something ain't going there. You did plus plus. Alright. Um, well, it's, yeah, it's, it's just a anyway, three. Just three wrong. No, it's just a three. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to put the plus if it's not a negative. Okay. Yeah. You just, like, fucking wreck him. <laughs> Alright, so. But they got yeah. a dodge. No, he wasn't right. expecting to be shot back. He thought you guys. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, well, he's fucked. Go ahead and roll damage. Eighteen damage to the head. Twelve penetrating. All right. So this guy, he was standing there. He was giving a smirk at his buddies after that nice little impressive barrage. As he just turns his head, like he, we got him. Yes. As he just gets plopped right in the center of the head as he just falls like a bag of bricks. I'll just call it not quite me. Alright, roll your initiative. That dude just got wrecked harder than fucking, you know. Dude died harder than Bruce Willis. Oh, that's a good initiative. I mean, I'm pretty much a Spartan without the armor. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think my arm. Like, secretly, my combination secretly, of... all along, William was just, you know, Orion. <laughs> yeah. I actually think my arm is better than Spartan armor, just for, like, base armor value. Because the combination I've worked up. <laughs> so armor OP, okay, please nerf. <laughs> This he thinks. I don't have a throwaway picture for these guys, do I? I need to get an icon for him. You can just draw like a little shape and assign that target thing. Just like make one, two, and three. Just draw a number. Alright. Come on. Load, load. You can do it. You can do it! This'll work. I'll just use one of these. Add to initiative. To two. Add to initiative. Add to initiative. Add to initiative. Add to initiative. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two. I should. Oops. I just realized I accidentally I rolled damage from my rifle, not my pistol. It was enough to kill him anyway. So. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like you're going to be going first. Yes, sir. So where the hell is the spot? <laughs> she just said, uh, you know, disappeared. It's freaking Batman. She told you there's people caught. She was like, nah, there's no way he would be. He would stay around and wait to be attacked, right? <laughs> Wrong. Distractions OP. Alright, so as you do that pop shot, the... Oh, no, you're first. So, descending? Yep. Alright. If I can see another guy. Uh, no, nah, he was the, the one guy sitting. Actually, there's one more that you can get a shot off, but it would be at a minus 10. Okay. Um, this not a cold shot this time. And I miss. Okay. Yeah, so you aim too tight as it just shoots into the wall. As he just, like, ah! <laughs> drops his head as he gets into cover now. As they all do, as you hear them reloading. So, call out again. Put your weapons down. Come out peacefully. Fuck you! If you say so. Grenade. For a grenade. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have any. There's one in my bag. <laughs> it's like both of them are in there. 
kind of see the or grenade cover or something. No, he would not be able to see it. I'm already have to that would be light or too close. Some kind of cover would be a good idea. Sam, I'm already in cover. I mean, it's plenty of shit. flip. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just shoot at him again. The minus 10? Uh, it's at a minus 20. They're at cover. That was a hit. Damn it. <laughs> yep. Then don't put, Then don't down. Alright, so. That. Alright. That's self. Grab chick's number. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, going through that fucking shit again. <laughs> you hear the sound of more shots being fired towards you. So there is five now. So that'd be okay. Do 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 do. Wait, I thought there's five total. Yeah, there's five total. Yeah, and I shot one in the head. There were six total before. Ah. Two stayed back. I one is dead. I so there's five now. All right, and there can only get two people in there with shots. So that'd be four. And with the bonuses and minuses, you're in cover. All right, so. Hey, one gets a good hit. I dodge. Barely. <laughs> so far, I'm still looking. That's something. <laughs> All right, William. Um, did he duck back into cover after? No, well, he's still like. All right. Um, well, cool. If not, I'll take a shot. Cold shot head. If I can see him. So, that's a, again another minus three. God damn it. Yeah, I miss. Then duck down. Right, so, those two you go with. get more than one attack per round, I think. I can fire a burst, using but I'm using a pistol. Okay. I can fire in a free shot burst, but it's not worth it. What a glorious pistol. Alright, so they get the two that shot drop back out, uh, back into cover, as two more pop out and shoot at you. Just like an epic gun battle raging inside. I dodge again. <laughs> I'm just buying time. Pistol, pistol. You can shoot. Oh, nice. Meanwhile, the spider's just sitting outside sipping some tea, like... Ah, uh, uh, yes! Like, you know, I'll, I'll come in when, you know, the time is right. A Sparta is never early nor late. <laughs> they are precisely when they mean to. <laughs> Alright, it's your turn. On the dawn of the fifth day, look to the east. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I think that's critical range. That's bad. Critical hit. Fatality. Mm, that's why you don't fight five people at the same time with, with a pistol. I should have reinforcements coming at some point. Maybe oh, Jacob's just, you know, reeling from the loss of, you know, a canteen whilst, you know, trying to follow, like, you know, the water. <laughs> Turns out you're actually following a tram line. Alright, so your gun jams. For oh, one... no. For 1d4 actions. Two. So it's a two action jam problem. Yep, so just bob back down. Start trying to... Like, Fix it. Yeah, so you just curse audibly as you so drop. 
You're going to let them Fuck shoot you. at you for two rounds, basically. Yep. There's not much more I can do. Alright, so... Better pray no bullet hits a grenade in the bag. <laughs> they see you pop up as you shoot your gun as it just clicks and nothing comes out as you curse and drop back. Borgi! Go! He have problem! I do it! Lahu Akbar. As you hear them start to rush in here now. As one moves behind the countertop. Or, not the countertop. Behind, um... They're just end the room. Yeah. So if they make me draw my knife, they will regret it. <laughs> I love how threatening you think you sound, but... <laughs> no, no, right. <laughs> you, you should have done, like, the epic bum rush, like, pistol in one hand, knife in the other. And how far can this one move? Oh, yeah. So he moves up and gets right up to your cover as he um, like leans over there and has his shotgun out. It's like, put it down! Now! Make me. As he pumps his shotgun. Shotgun blast to the head. <laughs> I have 30 armor on my head. Bring it on. <laughs> Somebody's cocky. Let's see. He's Anybody? learning from the best. <laughs> I'm expecting to die here. Just try, try not to go out screaming. Right, so... No, 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 go out like you were born. Screaming and covered in blood. <laughs> Shit. Um, I guess I'll attempt to dodge one of them. Or right, well, both, I guess. That's the first. That's ten. That's the second. Alright, so two successful pop shots. Yep. It's not looking too bright for our hero. Oh, come on, I'm barely the hero. Zero to hero? Just like that? Nah, just zero. <laughs> just average red shirt grunt. Alright, so. Where is it? He like shoots you in the head, you just laugh as the bullets just like ping off the fucking the helmet. Fingers right. crossed. When suddenly it turns out it was Iron Man or- Oh! What? <laughs> oh no, wait, 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 actually. Yeah, um, head has 28 armor, like, total, but I have 5 toughness. Well, that wasn't headshots. You didn't um, well, do call. The head's the, le the weakest part of my armor. <laughs> yeah, he hit you in 29 and 26. That is um, left arm, which has 35. It's 16 pin. Uh, do, 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 do. so you have no arm. Nine, I guess. Well, thirty-five. So I absorb nine 16, of them. Nineteen. That's almost max Plus. damage on that first roll, though. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking mean. <laughs> All right, in the second, not too far off. Yeah, that that, that kills me. That blows my arm off. Or kills me. Wait, what? Hold on. You have four toughness, right? Five. And 35 armor on your arm? Yep. Oh, you said 5 toughness? Yeah. Okay. So you're so death you have, each time. So you that's 24. 14. You, subtract, you subtract 24 from both those numbers. I'm crack. Well, then, no, it does nothing. So the first one does 5, and the second one does nothing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because how much is your armor? Um, the armor on the arm is 30. Alright, so what uh, we do is... It is 35, but, but I've got like 5 toughness. Alright, so it's 35, and it has a pin of 16. So your 35 equates for only 19 protection. So the 24 would actually be doing 5 damage to you, and the 29 would be but doing... But then you all... have 
five toughness on top of your 19 armor, right? No, yeah. he already counted that in to make the 35. Yeah, the 35 minus the 16 makes it a 19 protection from these attacks. Okay. Ah. So you just took 15 in total. Okay, well, I'm not dead. I'm just very, very close. <laughs> As like, after, no you fired, you. after you fired... After he fired... Jeez, those rolls are great. He's like, put it down! <laughs> Um, yeah. Probably holding it in my right arm, so yeah, just drop it. <laughs> or you will be disarmed. Now die! Um, no. I knife and go for his throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's still their turn. Well, it's it? at the end of their turn. And in the hallway, you just hear the loud sound of actually, <laughs> actually you would know the sound of this it would be battle rifle arm, um, battle rifle shot actually Joe I could just move out of the room pick up the guy's shotgun and then pump a couple of shells into them forgot about that well, you, you would have to go past the guy that's in front of you right now which would provoke the attack of opportunity with a shotgun now? I thought it was in the melee weapons ago you can still, you know, melee attack for provoke of opportunity. Yeah. I mean, you just have to hope he doesn't get over your armor. Hopefully. Punch. You never know. I pray. But I pray to the god emperor. That is a hit, 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 miss, and then hit him right afterwards. Hit, hit. Hit, hit. Or miss, and then hit him right afterwards. Or no, wait, those both miss. And then hit, and then a miss. So, damage. Aren't you lucky you had backup? I mean, I wouldn't have engaged if I didn't. <laughs> I just didn't expect it to take him bleak. Well, like five minutes to realize someone was in the building. She had to move down. She jumped off a fucking balcony. I thought she could do that again. It took her time to do it. It wasn't instantaneous. Yeah, true. Well, she like did she like had to do like ten squats to get her fucking legs pumping? Then field strip her rifle, make sure everything's alright, and then play it back I together. I don't know, fucking, you know. Right, do a yeah. diagnostic on her armor, make sure it's, you know, yeah. not fucking up. Get clearance to engage. I was in Fuck a game in, once you know, where, uh... Be put on hold for like 10 minutes. Alright, so that's 3d10 <laughs> damage. And... Uh. Okay, good. No, wait, wait, wait. That's a 95. So, with that 95, I will burn her luck to make that not happen. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I forgot I could do that. Oops. So that be seven ten. So dead. So that's one two. Not the guy in front of me. Dead. No, these are guys in the hall. So one two. Dead. One two. Dead. <laughs> Here and all this. I said I had you surrounded. So that's. Those guys drop. Drop, drop, putting some they shots in there. Much head. They do not have many wounds. They're not allowed a wound. Average grunt, so. As he turns his head, he's like, ah, shit! And now it's your turn. Turns his head, stab him in the back of it. I draw my knife and attack. Who do you think you are, Marcus? I'd like to be. It seems like I'm a badass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not no, Marcus. No. <laughs> I'll just no. make a like, wild stab at him. <laughs> Even though he wasn't paying attention, like... You, you took Joe, too much damage. Range? Huh? 
No. Nah. You took too much damage. You, It threw you off your balance. You, you basically it. just flail at him. What's your agility probably... run? Um, plus five. Um, then you definitely get a second attack. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. That's a fair point. I actually get three. Yeah. Boop. Um, now he's paying attention to you. Hey, one of them hits. Does it, though? It does. <laughs> Hell yeah. Basically, no. knife to the face. I said they were aggressive, but it made, it made me draw it's my knife. almost a knife to the face. That'd be his arm, I believe. Yep. Yep, right arm. For 16 damage. And 6 pen. It's a bad Which girl. would be Cuts enough. his arm off. That, that would drop him. He's not dead, but he's on the ground bleeding in pain and just like, ah, fuck, fuck. Just look down at him. And this Don't is worry, when you I'm kick him in the dick. <laughs> then around this town, you, time you hear people yelling, "Go! We got to get cover!" As you hear, poof, <laughs> and then thud, thud. Good. The sound of a flashbang going off. I'm glad we left that there. <laughs> yeah, um, mm. I, I pick up. And then, the not too long, you see the ground, same like tall woman that you saw before, like walk by the uh, door that's littered with blood and gore right now. Look in, see you standing there, like all fucked up, and then she just looks forward and panting over a guy, knife in hand. <laughs> Then you just see her, like, look, doesn't stop her stride and just continues moving forward as you hear down the hall. It's like, ah, my eyes, my eyes, ah, what the fuck was, Pow! Flashbang, yay, my trap did something. <laughs> then, then you also hear, it's like, wait, 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 no, 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 look, look, I'm sorry, I didn't, but, Pow! I was going to look down at the guy and smile. You know, did you think I was alone? Jacob did something. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He did the thing. I gotta see if it's death. 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 <laughs> so you got plenty of people to interrogate now with all those, uh... Hey, I've got one. That's all I need. Where's my med kit? <laughs> Medic! Um, oh, wait, you don't have a right arm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still in the why, why do you think they. That's why they invented cybernetics. <laughs> yeah. Irony, you could save his life, but he, hurt, he shot your right arm, so you can't. I've got a left arm. Biofilm's barely rocket science. Alright, so, moving straight back to. Jacob, you've been moving now for about five minutes, and you finally see a manhole. You're like, ah, now I can get into this party. I would like, you know, lift the manhole and, like, peer inside. You see nothing but water moving. Well, shit. <laughs> Well, I, I guess I should go and really pick up the car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Marcus has this covered. So if you didn't happen to look down at the exact right moment to see someone going by, you're, you were just going <laughs> to... As you're looking around, um, you do notice there is a uh, superintendent um, console. Not right, right to the left of you. Oh well, I would go and use that then. You know, get me some informations. So walks over to superintendent console. <laughs> Gets a coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I stop at the local vendor. Get me, you know, a uh, fucking latte. You know, triple pump, fucking caramel. <laughs> some pumpkin spice thrown on top. <laughs> Alright, so as you but get no, close, no. the superintendent console shoots live as it gives you a 
please look or not a please looking face, but uh how can I help you face? Okay. Well, I guess I would have to use uh one of my ID tag and put it into a slot, I guess. You know. Alright, so you do so, it doesn't seem to do much. Well, hi there, Superintendent. <laughs> I need mm -hmm. to find a cop. He went into the sewers. Have you seen this man? <laughs> it gives you this face. No, okay. He's probably yeah. dead, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then text pops up. Last known location, and it says in the alleyway, as it shows a video f um, feed of you guys in the alleyway. And I, I know that, Superintendent. I was there. <laughs> uh, I then asked the Superintendent to show me the uh, the apartment building from earlier. It's like the best view of the apartment building possible. Alright, so it shows you a c camera feed that looks onto the entrance of the apartment building it's more of a um, not so much of a like a intrusive look just a look to see like yeah but just this like is, the is front a, door yeah this is a apartment <laughs> place it looks nice if you want to stay here this here's a view of it okay you obviously don't have candid access with your badge so yeah well let's see Hmm, what else can I look for? Hmm. Must think brain is, you know. Three and barbecue locations near me. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you, you know, uh, I guess, can you show me the, uh, I guess all the manhole covers going off in the direction of the water flow. And then a map of the area shows up as it shows you a list of manhole covers. There is six in the res residential area before it gets to the overflow of the city, which spews directly into the Red Sea, I believe. So I guess I would, you know, I, I would, you know, thank the superintendent, take my badge out, badgy thingy, my ID tag, I guess. And then I would probably just, you know, Go right down to the overflow and wait down there, you know, try and get down there as quick as I can. Alright, so as you're moving down there, Marcus, your body finally starts to recognize your own movements as it stops seizing. As you guys are just being pulled by the current, as it just has a quick drop, as you get into this large looking tanker that's slowly filling up to like a ballast point that you could see on the other side of the room. This room area in oh, here is about like 40 by 50 feet to, um, wide. Should I roll for critical damage from earlier? You didn't get blaze area, did you? Anytime you get take damage, you roll for critical damage. Hey. That's right. You too need to roll critical damage. I need to get right. that chart. The thing right is now. that it's based on attack location. So where did, what location would the electricity count as hitting? Uh, let's say your weakest. Which you don't have any armor, so just roll a... Anywhere but the head. Just roll a D100 to see. Alright. One sec. Alright, so 30... 30 would be your arm, and yep. 30 in general would be shoulder. So for shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Where is it? The ankle, shoulder, elbow. So roll a d100 again. Uh, shoulders, knees, and toes. Yep, roll another d100. It's like actually, on a scale of fuck to fuck. Actually, that's a D50, but 19 works. The joint is hit causing small bleeding and discomfort. When using this joint, plus 10 bleed and heavy bruising. Would so, you like me to roll as well? 
Yep, you need to roll for you twice. So, what's your bleed so far? It's just another. Yeah, you got it. There you go. And that is. 46. Bone is broken. Wait, 46 oh, to. No. That was heavily damaged. That would be your kidney for the first roll. On that, um, both of those hit my arm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's go. Do you remember the exact rolls they were? Because it would be specific arm points. Oh. Uh, 29 and 26. Alright, so 29 would be bicep. 26 would be elbow. So your upper arm is fucked. With a roll of 41 to 50, your arm is um, broken, heavily damaged, either being cut off or too, um, or being too damaged. <laughs> well, you know, you're gonna have to get a new arm now. I mean, I could just buy your family shit out of it, then. Go up to the platform. No, 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 what you can do, you can just cut off the dude, one dude's arm and just attach that to your own arm. Frankenstein on this shit. Science! It's a wonderful thing! Why can't I find... He rolls an 18. Ah. Arm and leg. Okay, so the arm and leg so is I'm just one location. I'm at 35 bleed from these two attacks. Yeah. Because you rolled a 46 and an 18? Yep. That's a plus 25. But say, I, Ooh. I'm a medic. I'm covered in biofoam and med kits and shit like that, so. Yeah, that arm's useless. And then got the 18. Jeez. That was a good You have no hit. arm. That was a really good hit. <laughs> your arm is useless and the skin is tattered. All right, so. You know So I'm in some kind of. You said it's like a giant tank that's filling up. Yes. With shit. Yes. So that would be the overflow tank. Well, so no. is there like a a ladder or an exit anywhere? Give me a perception. All right. Meanwhile, you know the guy that you stunned would be now jumped. Would be dead. Do you want me to roll to stop my bleed for a biofilm? Yes, please. Cool. Uh, That's 5d10 plus intelligence bonus per dice roll. So that'd be 5d10 plus 25, I think. If I remember. Well, it's only been like a, a few seconds, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, well. Just got it. Okay, got the perception roll. Alright, so as you're looking around, you notice there is a ladder that moves up to a canopy that is, like, encircled around the top. And it, mm -hmm. the ladder isn't, like, reachable yet because the water hasn't reached to the point. But if you get to the ladder in time, you probably can get there before it gets to the overflow point. Okay, um, I'm going to try to grab the, uh, the guy's body and swim over. And he's probably... It's been only a few seconds, and if I remember correctly, like... Oh, drowning takes a, a while. Mammalian, yeah. There's a, the mammalian uh, drowning reflex, or whatever it's called, so, yeah. Uh, so I'll grab the body and, and swim on over. Alright, so I need you to make... Strength? Yeah, your agility. Or not your agility, your athletics. Alright. And I'll be at a minus ten because you're carrying this guy. Um, well, I just said I'm pushing him, you know, swimming over to the ladder. I didn't say I was carrying him up the ladder yet. I know, but you're swimming okay. him over there. This is what the checks are for. Okay. Um, Let's see if you can make it there in time. Good. Yeah, it's surprisingly close, but nope. Do you want to re-roll it? Um, can you? Yes. Yeah, sure. Or not re-roll it, it'd be the 10, that's right. I keep get oh, mixing this oh, yeah, up with Warhammer. Yeah, I'll I'll spend my second fate for it, and yeah. All right, so you're able to move him over and give or take another like two movements. You think you can get there in time? As you move into the center of this room, you hear the loud like mechanical sound as the water starts to fill up to this fill line. Okay, I'm also gonna shout. You know, can anyone hear me up there? We're down in the uh, giant filling container. Like all you, in response, you just hear the sound of rushing water. Okay. All right, so do another check. 
So there's multiple. Okay. Blow the locks off, man. This is another minus 10. Check. Yes. Okay. Nope. Do you have any more? Nope. So as you are moving up and the water is still filling up, you start to hear the sound of like mechanics moving as the wall starts to like ready itself to open to take the water out. Do I have any idea what where the water goes after this happens? Like, how intelligent are you with the sewer system in Numabasa? Well, let's see. I am trained in a bunch of things. But realistically for your character. Yeah. Um, I would assume you'd have a basic knowledge. That may be a cop. I don't know. It depends if there's, if there's been anything like this before. Um, I, I mean, you know, you could have had, like, fucking gangs and the fucking sewers or some shit. <laughs> well, if this guy's okay. first thought was to hide in the sewers, then, you know, other people probably, like probably have done it. Fucking missing persons and shit. <laughs> Fucking drug know. trafficking. Alright, so then yeah, you can try your int. Alligators everywhere. Okay. Fucking alligators. Sewer gators OP. They need to nerf. Alright, so nice. you would know it that it would first go to a, a prom cycle before it gets like waste products jettisoned into the Red Sea and then possibly refining the water into later use. It goes through a cleaning system that involves a lot of filtering, cutting down of materials and then filtering again and then heating process and then filtering again then splitting off waste materials to usable water and then the usable water is filtered somewhere else as the waste product is exited into the Red Sea. All of which it would be completely fatal if a human body went through. So imagine like the end of Toy Story 3 just with more water. Basically dead. So, so I'm basically if I let if I wind up staying here, I die, but if I let this guy float away, he dies. Yes. yes. You have a dilemma. Someone dies tonight. But you still you got more time. Like the one, It hasn't gotten to the overflow system, or the falling off part yet. It's just getting prepped. Okay. You don't know how long it will take, but it doesn't seem like much. It doesn't seem like much time left? Yeah. Well... What the heck, he threw a grenade at me. Um, Fuck and I've you, already you tried let a grenade really go at me. <laughs> Not let a grenade, you intentionally tried to murder me with a grenade. And I've tried really hard to keep you alive, and it's probably not going to work out now. So, unless one of my... Yeah, no. So I'm just going to swim for the ladder myself, and try and get up there. Maybe I can find a way to, to stop things. Alright, so after you let him go, then yeah, you can roll your athletics without any minuses now. Okay. You better pray to God you pass. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yep. So you let a man die to try and save yourself failed at doing that as well. So he's just bobbing in the water as it's just the water's just being very choppy and it's hard to swim in here and you're trying to make leeway but you're having issues keeping yourself up as you hear the sound of the me mechanics still like rearing and getting ready to go as it sounds like an engine starting to get like powered up. Okay. Um and as you are doing this, as you're like dipping into water, you hear this light sound of like, Hey! What are you? Hey! From him or? No. 
Okay, so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna keep shouting. I'm checking to see if my helmet's got like a voice amplification thing, but yeah, I'm shouting as loud as I can. I'm stuck down here. Stop the process. Stop the stop the dumping. All right, so. Can you do it? He presses emergency eject. Locks down the panel and just pours acid uh, into it. Yeah, so you hear the sound of like metal as he's running off and you don't see him again. Do you try to swim? Um, is there anything else I could do that makes sense? You could throw a grenade at him. Well, gets attention. <laughs> take this, you dirty bastard! <laughs> if I'm dying and taking you with Notice me, notice me, senpai. <laughs> um, I'm yeah. I guess I keep trying to swim. Um, I, I mean, I imagine not. how loud a flashbang would be going off. I was really hoping for the grenade. Fine. Well, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'll keep trying to swim then. Alright. By the way, what was the super clever idea? You came up with to stop yourself from, or to stop him from, like, going down the sewer tunnel. Say again? What was the idea you had to stop it, or to make him catch up with the guy with the grappling hook? Oh, throwing a grenade past him. Oh. And then laying the current, bring it off just so it explodes right underneath him. Nice. It it causes well, blindness and uh, deafness, but it doesn't cause like someone to go limp. So once he was already in place, it would have. Yeah, but if it has a st no wait, that was your stun baton with stun. Yeah. Um, does it so? Does it look like there's any kind of uh, metal projections um, around me, arms, or that'll be close to the exit? I'm gonna well, as the water is increasing, the ladder is becoming closer in reach. Yeah, I'll keep swimming for the ladder. Nope. Yeah, this water's too choppy. It's it's very difficult for you to swim in this. The water's like low okay. note. Especially with having your clothes on, yep. holding on to your equipment at the same time. Quickly strip. <sighs> Dump all um, unnecessary items. Suspect it's not going to... Alright, so as this, as you try to swim again, you hear another, like, mechanical sound as the engine's rearing as you feel like you're being sucked downwards. Okay. And then as it happens, the water starts to, level starts to decrease, but then you hear just... <laughs> as it sounds like the system powering down. That's why you can try and block the drain with the guy's body. <laughs> Do you really right. think they would have safety measures for such a thing? That's why the other guy watching. They press the button. Especially when it's so easy to get, like, if you literally just open up a manhole and then drop down and you're swept away, you'd think, like, kids would fall down all the time. They probably do. Oh. Most yeah. people smart, not open up manhole. Yeah, this is the, like there's probably like there's four there's just like four other like four kids also floating there who you haven't mentioned. Just like And remember I only told you the information that you think you know. Yeah, some a couple dogs, you know. Or I could just be completely they, they wrong about the information person. you know. Yeah. It gets them. <laughs> okay, yeah. There's probably like you're watching as you but um Jacob is watching as he sits by the uh the exit, like, all the corpses floating out. Not him, not him, <laughs> not him. Uh, but, uh, well, this is just one uh, shitty situation. Ha. <laughs> As oh, that, now that it's, all happens... Now that it's stopped, do I basically have, have unlimited time to get out? And... Yeah. Well, for as long as well, you can stay swimming. As long try as and save the guy. Yeah, you can, you're going to try to swim back to save him? Um... Well, it seems like the, it seems like there's no time for extra now, right? Yeah, there's no urgency other than him drowning. Yeah, so that's the yeah. So I'm gonna go back to save him. As you hear a guy, as actually before you even hear him, you see a light start to 
turn on in the center of the containment that you're in as you hear the sound of the metal padding as the guy runs in here as he looks down he's like what are you doing there's an unconscious guy here I'm here we need to get him out as you see him well you don't see him but you hear the sound of like him smacking something as metal doors close up from the water's interest of pouring more water in here mm -hmm. as he then throws a like flotation device down at you okay so I'll, I'll grab the flotation device and you know swim over yeah. get the get the guy out of the you know guy's head out of the water and yeah all that goes without any real issues guys we forgot to make your shit's creek pad without a paddle jerk ah Oh well, I'm disappointed. And then try and try and you know paddle back to where the ladder is. Or all right, so on the outside, Jacob, you're arguing with the waste ma um, control management person there that you need to get down there, and she's like, "No, I can't. I I, I need proper access. I mean, I can't just let any." person down there well you know we, we want to have this ends with Jacob <laughs> you would give the woman a stern look does this uniform look like it's just some random fucking person <laughs> yeah but I, you still don't have authority here just because you're in the army sir I can't let you down there I don't like doing these things. It makes me feel bad deep inside. This little pitch black heart of mine. Mm -hmm. You would then push the woman out of the way. <laughs> like... <laughs> hey, sir! Sir! <laughs> you can't do that! You know, he would walk over to, you know, said exit where the ladder would be, and he would yeah, just. Yeah, you sit come there and up to a door it. that's saying that you need to <laughs> er, enter your uh, yeah. code. The clearance. Yeah. Uh, the joys of doors. What kind of door is it? It looks like a clearance door that you need a key or a uh, code for. Oh, like, 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 is it metal? Is it wood? Is it glass? No, it's a metal. It's door. a screen door with a key pass. Yeah, the <laughs> Newman Boss. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Newman Boss uh, Waste um, Control Office is like one of the top five companies in Newman Boss actually. Surprisingly. Jacob will look at the look over at the woman to just oh, basically it's a privatized sewer? Open the fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. I will lose my job. You'll lose more than your job if you don't open the fucking door. Is that a threat? Are you threatening her? No, not yet. <laughs> so I like I like how it takes to like two seconds to pull the gun on the child services person overtaking a kid away, but saving someone's life. He's just like you know, I'll, it's I'll, I'll, it's just, I'll it's escalate this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not even military. And then as you're like yelling this at him, you just hear the sound of an alarm going off. Well. Looks like the party's beginning. <laughs> As so you hear a loud mechanical it? sound, like an engine, like powering down. Looks over at the, you know, the person who's not letting him inside. Well, that looks like it's my cue to go inside. <laughs> she looks confused for one, because. It looks like she... Yeah, her face looks like it's just confused. Not at you, like, but more so at why she hears this and the alarm's going off, and she turns to her computer and like, is, like, looking at stuff. Like, does she have, like, a key card to get in on her person? You assume so, as you see her badge. It looks like it's a badge key card. But she has I, her I back totally to you. I totally try and steal that. <laughs> Just walks over and attempts to grab the keycard. 
All right, give me your melee. I have one fate point, so I will use that for a plus ten. Awesome. All right, so yeah, you snatch it off of her shirt, and she's like, "Hey!" I would then go and open the door. Yeah, you do uh, so. After having used the key card, I'm like, you know, for whatever purposes I need it inside, then I'll just dump it on the ground somewhere. <laughs> All right, so you get in there, and it's very clean in here. It looks like a laboratory clean type of place. As you see people, like, rushing towards a console on the other si opposite side of you. And then you see a sign that says two waste tunnels, and another sign that says to overflow. And another that says to... Overflow. Yeah, already. Yeah. You know? So you start heading downstairs as you head to the overflow area. Uh, you know, hello, is anyone out there? I would start yelling. <laughs> and as, you, as you go into the overflow, you see uh, Marcus on the ground getting his breath with an unconscious man next to him and another guy that looks really pimply with red hair and it looks kind of drenched, soaked. But it doesn't look like he's completely drenched compared to what everybody else, those two look like. Well, you know, Jacob would look at the ginger man, mumble, fucking I'm also gingers. slowly bleeding out. Me meanwhile, you know, he he'd walk over to Marcus and crouch down and go, you know, it looks like you got yourself into a shitty situation. I, I just turn. I set the visor to polarized of my helmet so you can't see me glaring at him. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see the guy is not way. dead yet. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, do whatever. Turn him over, make sure. Make sure he doesn't choke on stuff already. And then. As you do, see if the uh, file falls out of his shirt pocket as it tinkles onto the ground. What kind of vial does it look like? It looks like a vial that has two rubber stoppers on the top and bottom and in the center. There's this liquid that's circling up into like a DNA looking double helix of two different colors, one being purple and one being green. So I guess that, that would probably be a chemical agent. I mean, you know, if a vial falls out of someone's jacket, and it looks like a double helix, it's the fucking T-Virus. <laughs> it shatters on the ground, you'll inhale it and become zombies. <laughs> kind of worried that's... You know, I, I, I'd, I'd look at the vial, and then I would slowly back away, like, I'm not touching that. You're the one in full armor who's not... who hasn't just been through the lazy river of death. Well, you know, I, I prefer to not die by... You know, fucking biological weapons. Jeez, you know? who are you guys? You know it's dangerous swimming through there at this time. Human boss of police department. This guy is um a terrorist wanted for assaulting a police officer and probably a bunch of other stuff. It and doesn't matter if you guys die in there. Off. You're lucky I got back from my coffee break. <laughs> well, you pimply I ass yeah. ginger cunt. Yeah, I really am lucky. <laughs> uh, thank you a lot. I should probably have died if you went for a second cup. Uh, hey, Mr. Ginger, you should, you should really pick up that energy drink on the ground. Points to, uh, you know, the vial. No, I'll pick up the vial. I'll, <laughs> I'll pick up the vial and take a uh, because if it is a biological thing, at least I've got the CBRN helmet. Alright, so as you're um, looking at it, it has a label on it mm -hmm. that says CX24.01. I feel that number may be important. 
sounds dangerous. Um, let's see. CX sounds like nerve gas to me or something, but I'm not. I mean, that's CS CS is nerve gas. Yes, yes, CS. Okay, so can I roll something to have heard of that, or is that? Yeah, you can try to roll your intelligence to go off of the okay. basic knowledge that you know of the city. Maybe something ran up with you. Might be a new drug or something. Who knows? Got no. no clue. It says CX. Uh, what, what was the initials after that? 2401. It says CX2401. Well, we have... Does that mean anything? Well, there is only one thing to do. We will what? try and radio someone in charge. <laughs> Let's get an ambulance here. Alright, so at that point you guys hear a crackle coming people. over your comm and you actually can hear each other now. You guys there? Hello! Copy? Where the fuck have you been? Well, Marcus went for a swim in the sewers. I went for a run on the surface. They nearly died. We found the thing. The guy's alive, and things. You got the guy? Yes. Oh, yeah. Something. I just took I, I, I felt a disturbance minutes. in the force. Did something happened to one of my canteens. <laughs> I could I'm really use the medic here, I'm kind of slowly bleeding out. Um, 20 minute walk. Oh, actually no, I'm 20 minute You're drive. not gonna what? mention the whole one arm and getting blown up thing? Oh, fuck no. Super soldier. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, took down six of his men. Well, good job. You know, you guys you might get a medal or you know a promotion. One day, I might even call you sir. The <laughs> silence, so <certainly gone>. I, I can't tell if you couldn't, you know, notice that I was, you know, being quite sarcastic. Marcus, you there? Yeah. Meanwhile, Marcus is just dying. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> do you want me to call an ambulance or something for you? Yeah, yeah, that would be really great. Yeah. I, I mean, we had, we had a ginger guy here the whole time who wasn't calling an ambulance. Yes, yeah, so I said something about calling an ambulance earlier, but... Jacob would look at the ginger. <laughs> uh, how are you doing on your blood right now, Marcus? Um, well, I lose 10 every minute, because we're not in combat. So, I don't know how many minutes have passed. Okay. A lot. <laughs> also, um, that's what the red bar is for, is for your blood. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I'll get the location, call an ambulance for him. Yeah. Say, so like, uh, officer's been wounded. All right. Do well, you do you tell? You know, we're at the water treatment plant. Do you tell uh, William anything else while you're on comm? Oh, well, I mean, he obviously doesn't know where we are, so I tell him, you know, we're at the water like treatment plant. Yeah. And basically, you know, do the whole song and dance of good job. You know, we're at. Pimply guy, where are we at? Okay, we're at here. Yeah, get ambulance and cops and stuff. Yep, I call all of that. Hey, you guys would have gotten yourselves to be right over to this part. I'd also like if the guy at my feet is still bleeding out, buy from him. Good job. So he's hey. Done. Do you guys tell him anything else? Uh, William? Is there anything worth well, telling him? I don't know, the medical well, William, person, just, tell him. Just to be sure, William, you have... Oh, yeah! Do you know what a small vial called... Um, C, we found a small vial called labeled CX2401 on, on the guy. It's got some kind of... What, what colors was it? Blue and green. Blue it's green. got two purple sort of purple and green chemicals in it that don't uh, they don't seem to mix with each other. They just sort of form a weird double helix shape. Um, you have any idea what that would be? Um, Maya or something like that. 
By the way, ambulance is on its way. Um, now let's see, you know, if uh, William knows what this is. William knows everything. Look at what we got here. We got a fucking brainiac. Would you rather have a private medic? fucking joker <laughs> instead of j fucking jelly donut? <laughs> That's um, a pile. No, William, don't need to roll. All right. Do, 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 do. That was spelled wrong. Well, I will have to That's go fine. and get the heart, the car, or depending on what the cops use for vehicles. Yeah, um, I'll come over. I'm going to need to take a look at it myself, but I think I might have an idea. I mean, you know, Handle it with the vehicles. <laughs> so, so Why Jacob would, you know, go go back the way he came and dump off the card back on the woman he took the card from. Uh, actually, as you guys were on your way back, you would have saw them having um, two hired men, or you guys wouldn't know this, but you see two armed men heading down the hall towards you. Um, it doesn't look like they're military, but at the same time, they look to be heavily armored. You can tell they have um, pretty heavy stuff. This is at the water plant. Kill. As is that the water behind plant? them, you can see a girl that looks kind of frightened. As you guys turn um, the corner, and she points, like, "There he is." Um, I pull out the badge and like, <coughs> New Mombasa Police Department. Um, this guy was here to get me pulled out of the water because I was pursuing this guy who is currently unconscious. I hope. The ambulances and backup should be on the way. And, two, and then I'll reach in and, you know, flash a badge. And the two guys, like, moved to the side so the girl could see it, and... Well, that doesn't explain him. He stole my badge and then broke in here. Oh. Well, you know, um, when you're not being very cooperative, you have to take badges. It's not the worst hands. thing he's done today. Oh, it could have been worse. You know, I, you know, we put a gun to a homeless man's head. Good day. Good day all around. <laughs> um, I wish I had an explanation for him, but <laughs> that I, I one is kind of hard. You know, you know, fucking, uh, just he, toss he the was badge back to her. Probably you know, thank you for your cooperation. It, it, you know, his tone would be very sarcastic as he says, thank you for the cooperation. Epic level sarcasm. <laughs> I'm really sorry about whatever happened, but I'm kind of just, yeah, not. The people who show up can explain things to you. Alright. Well, give me a fellowship. Do, 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 do. Fellowshipping of the ring. Not quite. Uh, I mean, it sounds good on paper, but she does seem pretty scorned by uh, how Jacob went about it. <laughs> <laughs> and the guys see that, and they look at you. It's like we're gonna have to escort you two out, three out of here. I was already leaving. Well, good, because I I am not really my I hurt my shoulder, so I can't carry him out alone. But do you grab an end? I guess. <laughs> Come on, get out of here! It doesn't look like they're helping you. Yeah, uh, I'm just you know le you know leaning against. Some, I guess I've. I guess I've been able Jacob to stand let out a heavy sigh. Something. Like, is that the guy, like, just unconscious on the ground or something? Yeah. 
Basically, he's, he's unconscious. He's not going to move if you shout at him. Ba basically, Jacob would just walk over and grab like the trouser leg of the dude and start dragging him by the leg outside. Stop that! You don't want to like do more damage. He's our like. Actually, wait. I'm gonna Who look has at the vial? guys. Um, I actually, I'm going to look at the two at the uh, security guys and say. You know, don't you have a protocol about unconscious people? You gotta get them on the stretcher because you don't know about injuries and stuff. Isn't that a liability thing? Okay, give me a fellowship plus 20. Fellowship of the ring. Alright. <laughs> Made it. I would give a sigh as... I know how you said it, but what you really do is you just start spouting up like, well, actually in subsection You're 3 bullshit. of the New Mombasa uh, Waste Management Office, it stated that <laughs> every unit that is found to be unconscious or injured is supposed to be escaped, um, <laughs> moved to the blah 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 blah, and you just do that whole spout as they're just like, alright, 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 alright. As he turns to the others, like, go on. Let's go on and help the boy in blue. As the other one gives off a sigh and trucks off. And as you see him bring a hand up to his ears, it looks like he's calming to somebody. Eventually a stretcher comes and they move you to the uh, clinic of the department. Okay. And then I just wait around for help to show up. And hope and I don't beat up. Yeah, as they do, they there's a person on duty who's like, um, hi. Oh, first off, you took a dip? Seems to be getting a phone call, which I shouldn't be. Uh, hold on a moment. Alrighty. We can move this over to, uh, good old Will. Hello, Will. Yeah, so once I biofilm the guy I stabbed, um, make sure he's alright, I'll knock him unconscious, probably the butt of his own shotgun, and then go speak to the Spartan. If the Spartan's still there. Yeah. So it was not a sales call. Away. <laughs> so as you move out to the hallway, you can see the woman in armor surveying the area, looking through these cretins on the ground checking to see if they're still alive and as you do she's doing so you see another one that's like at the end of the staircase with a gun rested against his shoulder or their shoulder you can tell that it looks to be a male and this one looks to be around six nine and as you look at the other end of the hallway you can see another one that has their gun like prone towards the ground looking up towards the stairs and out the windows yeah I'll just walk out and say well Thanks for the assist. Uh, didn't know you had you brought friends as well. Oh, poor Will thought it was a date. <laughs> I mean, I thought we had a little something. I thought, you know, you know between like... killing terrorists, there might have been a spark of love. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jacob's just gone off to get the fucking car. <laughs> she turns and she looks towards you and stands up to her full height and she moves towards you it's like did you happen to see a vial on any of these uh... haven't checked but I've ha sorry what's your rank you don't need to worry about it I, uh, that's vile um... no just tell them there's no vials on any of these men Say again. Well, I've, there's no vials in any of these men. To be fair, I've only looked at that one. I gesture at the guy that I patched mm -hmm. up. Any of you injured? No. We didn't take any damage. You can't look at my arm. Wish I could say the same. Pretty ballsy taking eight by yourself. There's eight? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Only for those six. That's such a good response. <laughs> that was eight. <laughs> oh. She doesn't well, eight seem. Eight would have been too many. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't seem to respond, but she moves into the doorway if you let her pass. Yeah. Um, if you need, if you need to speak to him, I'm fur. You leave him alive. I've got questions on my own. We have our own directive. Yeah, me too. Well, she looks to search him. Uh, she. It looks like again that. She probably is talking, but you don't hear her because she might be talking in her calm. Just the head bobbing up, him up and down. Yeah. As one of the other men in full armor moves towards you. No, yeah, just like look up at him. What are you guys? Surprised that Spartans weren't monitoring the comms that we have. Probably were. <laughs> All right, but you say again. What are you guys? I've never seen armor like that. Don't worry. We're here to help. Well, you could have helped a little sooner. Gesture at my tattered arm. This has got like expanding foam coming out of like holes that shouldn't be there. Don't worry, you did fine. You did, did you credit to the... Too? It's a, uh, what is it? He says you did good credit to your, uh, unit. My unit should have been here as well, but... They're off jacking down someone else. Who do you guys report to? I need to know. Got to write a report on this. Sorry. We never That's hear. classified information. I was gonna, like, bat an eyelid at him, but, um... Fucking Oni. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every person I ask says that to me. Uh, I am a, like, like tap my rank. I am only a private, but I thought you know, bros in arms, a little bit of trust. Still mad. Are you sure? You can't tell me. A bit of a wink, wink, and a nudge, nudge goes on. Yeah. The girl turns <laughs> and she looks towards him. Like Tom, it looks like it's clear. He gives a nod. And you're muted. <laughs> God damn it, press, I was pressing one. So yeah, just nod, Tom. That was committed to memory. Tell me, boy. <laughs> I was like, not the, uh, not the woman that spoke to originally. It was your designation. Say again? I need to know. What was your designation? I need to know, just for the Sigma report. Retrieval. Tom and retrieval. <laughs> you christened with that or something? It's a weird name. You stay safe. <sighs> yeah. Team Onyx out. Yeah, you too. Move out. Onyx. As the girl gets up and puts her gun to the side. As he turns, gives you a nod, and starts to walk towards one of the rooms as she follows promptly. Yeah, I'll go over, check what the bodies, make sure. As the other See one kind of sits there on the stairs, uh, I don't remember the great sniper rifle, but one of the high caliber sniper rifles just rests against his leg. He's just. Well, there is only there. one sniper rifle. Is there? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, it's it's yeah. Yeah, so while I'm checking the bars, I'll look up and nod at his gun. Nice rifle. And unlike the other ones, this one has... Uh, they're all dressed in black. Her visor was orange. The guy you're talking to's visor was blue. This one, it looks to be blue as well. But as you're looking at him, there looks to be like he has paint on his armor that looks more like a skull with its mouth like open. Fucking Emil. <laughs> but is it an, like just like for everyone else watching, is it an AOD helmet? No. This is on the helmet, this is on his chest. Alright. Ah, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, ow. So I just like look up at him, like while I'm like checking the bodies. So Team Onyx, can you tell me what you guys are? Just stay silent looking at you. I mean, you're UNSC. You might be AI. Can I can't tilt my head. It's advanced. Definitely good in the fight. I see him Seems turn his head and like look out the window to the side as he just pushes back leaning back as the window just breaks as he falls out of the window as and you're all bloody vandals <laughs> <laughs> as he's falling and you notice like well, what <laughs> do you move to go see or what I'll lean out as you lean out you see at the bottom, a warthog that he just dropped into the passenger seat. Smooth move, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> just take out my like my um, waypoint com and just like snap a photo of like the warthog and him. As they so start going, going in back roads, as they vanish, or back alleys. Oh fucking only. Goes to look at picture, picture is suddenly redacted. Yeah. <laughs> this is a picture yeah. of a street, just like with the actual warthog colored in with a black felt tip. Alright, so back to Joe and Alistar. Okay. Well, while those two are up in the medical center, I've gone to get the car. Alright, and Joe, you're muted. So I am, or was. All right. So you come into here. The guy checks your chemical levels to make sure you're not poisoned from the chemicals or anything in there, and you should be good. And he actually does a little simple medical grade stuff on you. Gives you some nice butterfly stitches. Can you roll What's the um, biofoam for me? Uh, yeah. Well, it's f um, 5 to 10 plus um, intelligence. 3. So, it'd be 5 to 10 plus 15. And the total stops like that amount of bleeding. Biofoam is fucking great. Alright, so biofoam you should be is love. Alright, so you're no longer bleeding. And right. you get a plus yeah, that's 20 way more against than all I... injury, like tests and stuff like that, because it's full of morphine as well. Ignoring shock and fatigue, which I didn't get. Okay, so now I'm just filthy and covered in sewage. Yep. Well, actually, no, they would have showered you. You could have got showered. Okay. Because no one wants to Who's touch you a down? Shit. So, um, yeah. a lot more exciting that excitement that's been here lately. Uh. So what's New Mombasa PD doing down here? Um, chasing someone who decided to use the sewers to escape. Oh, good! Finally, you guys are taking a part of are dealing with those people. It's been too long that they've been vandalizing the sewers. It's a twenty mile per hour current. How are they surviving? What? Isn't... You're it's not here for that? It's a drop into a 20 mile per hour current. <laughs> You're not here for that? This nope. guy was... <laughs> well, I guess you could say, yeah, actually, he did vandalize the sewer. You're right. I'll add that to the, to the list of uh, charges. Grappling hook to no, side well, of sewer. Well, no, we're t I'm, I'm talking about them... Pouring Who's them? We don't know. They keep putting cement in the sewer and blocking off lines. I, we put in several reports. Huh. Someone's building a base in the sewers. What kind of... Like, uh, or is there any lines currently blocked by it? Yeah, it's lines 6, 12, and 8. 
I'm not going to look at it right now, but uh, yeah, that sounds. They've literally blocked off line six, twelve, and eight, so that you have to reroute all sewer around them. Yeah, that's the reason why the sewer flow has been just so high lately. It's because we're routing oh. three of them into different ones. It's totally bang. I am deaf. Oh, you think the darkness? Who is did your you ally? submit those reports to? Um, it was some guy. Uh, well, I didn't submit it. I'm just part of the medic team here, but yeah. I'm not too sure. You're gonna have to talk with the people in charge here. I just work here. <laughs> yeah. He says as he well, slaps on the stinging biophone to your area where you get shot or blown. Giggity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Giggity. Um. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of had a long day, but that's a lot. That's actually really serious. And when I have not already been blown up and other things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, like I'm trying to be in, like I want to go over investigate it, but in character I'm trying to think that this is not you know. Like I, dude, I, also. I must investigate. <laughs> I must investigate. Meet super cop. The cop cannot be stopped. Well, hopefully you guys do four it. wounds left. <laughs> oh, you got um, healed by twenty, I believe, right? No, that's just plus 20 to resist ah. taking fatigue. But yeah. You stop the bleeding, I'm good to go. <laughs> Back out again, time to storm the underground sewer base. So then you guys start hearing sirens as all the fun stuff starts yeah. coming. Eventually, uh, William yeah. pulls in, walks in. <laughs> what yeah. happened to your arm? Shotgun. What happened to you? Um, you got shit behind your ear. <laughs> yeah, chasing a guy in, through the sewers and combat in the sewers. Oh, Joshua himself combat in the apartment. Do you still have that vial? Yeah. I like hold my. You hand know what it is? Mind. Um, I'm gonna need to have a decent look at it, but I have an idea. Sure you don't. It sounds to me like you've got some got a hunch. Um, yeah, I, take I do the have a hunch. Okay, I take the vial out and hand it to him. I say, look at it. Yeah. Thank fuck I didn't make a guess. This shade of purple, magenta. If it was um, blue and uh, lilac and green, this would be a really strong morphine. Magenta and green, nerve gas. Put it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Well, Ron. I will save this for a later date. I mean, <laughs> I, no, I made a point. I don't sewers. actually have any grenades. <laughs> now I do. Actually, like, um, can you maybe put that like in foam in your in your medical kit or something so it doesn't break into pieces when you sit down on it? Good point. I open up like a little soft case that's attached to my armor. Slip it in. Okay. Yeah, you can put it between so, tissue or whatnot. It's fine. Yeah. Don't maybe don't mention that. Like, is there anyone What's around to over here? Of, um, uh, yeah, you guys get to a moment of um like privacy for a split moment. Yeah. Yeah, my arm so, is hanging loose at my side. I I think the insurrectionists are up to something in the sewage tunnels, um, and they for it some reason the department's not actually caring about it um, it's probably just oversight but it's possibly infiltration and yeah we may have to um... sorry you think the police department's corrupt oh no no I, I know that I know it's corrupt um, I'm worried uh, no. about uh, you think they're on the paper I'm worried about insurrectionist uh, insurrectionist infiltration. Then, I kind of like gesture myself and Marcus. No, not Marcus. 
Jacob. That's why we're here. We're not here. Oh, I'm Jesse. I'm sorry. That's why me and Jacob been sent here. Don't know if that's why you're here or not, but fresh pair of eyes, mate. Yeah. And yep. we can go above the NMPD um, NM if we need to. Yep. So, Jacob, where are you at currently? I went to go get the car. Oh, yeah, you would have got that. It came back. You're good. Oh, okay. Just walk around the streets with the beeper. Anyway. <laughs> 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 okay. Which one was that? <laughs> like five cars lined up that looked the same. Just all show up, yeah, because there's only like six different codes they use. So, yeah, let's get Should these guys. Let's get these guys interrogated. So, actually, um, Jacob, you would have been there, man. Okay, okay. So let's let's get this guy interrogated, and uh, hopefully you can get some long-term treatment for your arm. But yeah. as soon as we're ready to go, there's something. Unless there's something more serious that he tells us about, there's something really serious in the sewers. And if for whatever reason we can't get back up, um, yeah, I did run into a squad. These seem pretty adept. I can point in a request if I need to. A squad of what? I don't really know. Big, big fucking soldiers. Big reinforcements, as I said earlier. Like. Which I mean? I bet it was fucking you mean, OD. You <laughs> mean they were. I point, at, I, point at, um, I point at Jacob. Yes, it was actually fucking OD. Oh. They said that much. Fucking do a, it. <laughs> you mean a lot of them, or do you mean they were really big? I mean the shortest of them, a woman, was six foot five. And clad in fucking power armor. Hmm. Well that sounds like So they were Kenyan. That's that's fucking racist. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is actually the tallest people in the world or somewhere around there. You guys are in Africa. <laughs> yep. Yeah. The so UNSC. The heavily armed, really heavily armored. Sounds like the tallest fuckers I've ever met. I think they might be robots. I didn't see any skin. That could be. That makes a lot of sense. Well, it's oh, Oni. Okay. Who knows what Oni does? What Oni works in mysterious ways. <laughs> In reality, it's just the Office of Naval Intelligence. <laughs> but, uh, Meanwhile, I'm just here to kill things. <laughs> Joe, are we well, inching up on the time we need to go? Yeah, we really are. Uh, so, do you want to call it here? Pick up next week? Alright, so as you guys are conversing amongst each other, as you go about what happened... Oversight or underside, excitement and dread, all the fun stuff seems to be happening. The sound of someone coughing up water starts to echo into the room as you three oh, just tur turn around. I gotta handcuff him. <laughs> as you three just turn around and looking at him and just strike your pose as it just freeze frames, and that's the end of this week's episode. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Oh, good game! Next week on Cops New Mombasa Edition. <laughs> How's XP work in this system? I allot it towards you for completing stuff successfully. So when you I can complete, complete an encounter. Successfully. Yeah. When you complete encounter successfully, you get EXP. So for this session. Sweet, I killed eight guys. For being the assist of Onyx Team's completion of that, that would be one set of 50. For the completement of actually capturing the guy, it would be 200. And then for not killing any civilians, that's another 50. What about taking two, like, actual two people alive? That would be the part of it. Alright. So it would be 300 total. total. Sweet. All right, everyone gets three hundred. Yes. Yay. Hey. Um. Yeah, the not killing civilians one. That's. 
Not as easy as you think. Yeah. Depending on where fights happen and what weapons are used. Yeah. I totally want to give my character a fucking obsession. Obsession with killing people. Yeah. Yeah. There's a natural one for that. The obsessions of violence and war. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, next time and an extra you know, one, um, one hundred for other reasons. Okay. Finding the CX or whatever, or something else. Okay. Yeah. Next time, if we're if we wind up like doing an un backup, doing a solo raid on like Insurrectionist Tunnel Fort or whatever, with or without the help of nerve gas, that. Could get really, really. Hey, shit! I need to buy a gas mask. Yeah, I mean, you know, you don't want to be fucking chucking nerve gas around when you don't have a gas mask. Wait, you don't have a gas what? mask? Oh no. Oh. Me and I. Not man. Wait, I. I, mean, I you think you're I open helmet. That'd strange. be great if I just didn't like if I just assumed you did until after I threw it. And <laughs> that's why I. Like, that's why I pocketed it, mate. I can't wait to no, see you guys use the nerve gas. I mean, I know it's supposed to be turned in for evidence. I've just got this nightmare scenario in mind of like, there's a re, you know, like, you don't get any backup. You've got to take out three insurrectionist tunnel camps. It's but, okay. And that's when you just yell at good old William. William, throw the nerve gas. Release, Release the, the gas. Nerve gas. But like having to do, having to, having to having to cover up that. To fart. <laughs> it's gonna be Not interesting. Not that kind of gas. <laughs> so how are you guys liking cool. the system so far? Fun. The game's yeah. great. The system's the system. Um, how are you like learning really... the Halo universe from not knowing anything? Yeah, it's very um. It's interesting. It's it's it seems very. It feels very golden age science fiction in some ways. You know, like all the stories from uh, the '40s where you've got a. Uh, I'm trying to think of an example. You know the the retro tech kind of stuff. Yeah. The, um, retro I've got a laser modern. gun and a phone in my car. Just, just you wait till you know the covenant come. Yeah. Why would you want that? <laughs> I keep expecting that we're going to run into some kind of like hidden covenant force somewhere, but I guess technically they don't know where Earth is yet. Well, not necessarily. Oh, they fucking know. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, well, if you read the books, they knew for a while. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's that's what we they find. They had to the boot up forces. Well. Not too sure why they never attacked Earth, but yeah. Maybe what they've well, got. I, mean, I thought that's I mean, why they, they had take the... out Earth. But then you got Something a whole bunch of people fun. somewhere else. They're just like, ha, huh, no. But granted, I'm not that. completely caught up with all the books. Um, where I'm at right now, they were able to decipher through one of the ships that they stole. You know, that's they do know the location of Earth. I'm not too sure if they know it's our home world, but they knew the location <laughs> of Earth for a while now. So the coal protocol <laughs> was just pointless. <laughs> So based on our, our linguistics research, the name of this planet translates to dirt. Must be a in not an unimportant colony. Possibly. <laughs> yeah, fucking Reach got wrecked. <laughs> fucking but Reach. it's you no know what Reach wasn't even the worst because um, Harvest got even worse than that. Oh, Harvest was basically just a clusterfuck. And they lost three uh, Spartans. Uh, poor Spirit of Fire. And two of the Spartans poor weren't Jacob's even... Poor Jacob's dad. Yeah. He was on board the Spirit of Fire, and now it's gone. Yeah, GG. Don't, don't be on a planet when it gets glassed. It's not the best. Nope. At least your suffering will be quick. Too bad none of you guys are Oni. You guys actually would have had more information to work with. Yeah, I thought you said that that people knew who what the Spartans were because Master Chief had been publicized and stuff. 
it's or, very it's not completely it, um public yet it's about to be public it's not public yet it's going to be public in the next posters. like they, um basically um it becomes public when Cairo like basically before Cairo becomes under attack yeah Cairo station which is when the assault happens because master chief gets the uh was it a promotion or just a medal i can't remember he gets a medal it's been a while since i played I too i think spartans can't rise above the rank of master chief yeah that's the highest they can get we don't want genetically superior humans in command of our forces what <laughs> but uh... yeah interesting you met some new people saw some interesting fights didn't die so that's a plus <laughs> So, oh, I yeah. should totally get dual wielding range. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for watching and sitting in with this interesting day. <laughs> Fun times. <laughs> uh, don't forget to come back with us on Tuesday, starting at 10:35, for our next session to see what happens after the situation with what happened this week. Who knows? Also, I need a cool internet name, so someone suggest a cool internet name. Yeah, give him a good internet title. The Poop Master Flex. <laughs> that's no probably going to be like, the, yeah. It, so one comment and that's going to be it. <laughs> the Shitinator. <laughs> the Turdinator. <laughs> Grim Reaper. Faggotus Maximus. Um. But thanks you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next week.